Hey, can Lisa, can y'all hear can y'all hear me? Can you can can you hear me? Dem, can you hear me? Can y'all can y'all hear me? Hey, can y'all hear? <laughs> Big B don't 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 you be mute, muting people, Big B. They said they can hear. Huh? Okay. Big B, don't be muting people. Don't be doing that. Only mute the ones that you think we have an issue with. Don't mute the ones you have an issue with. Okay? I appreciate y'all. Ouch! Yo! This is gonna be explicit. Don't y'all come here. I got the biggest spoon that I can find in that damn drawer. But, <laughs> oh, y'all, we recapping the team. Uh, the title of the topic is, what would you do? We are recapping the team. Uh, what other, what other uh, show we, oh, and the issue. Just some, with, uh, just some stuff that we've seen. Some on stuff that we've seen from what? Uh, the stuff that we see on, 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 on Instagram. Uh, on Instagram. On Instagram. Or in TikTok tabloids. Yeah, it's going to be explicit, y'all. Be respectful. Okay? Um, Lisa, so I can't wait. <laughs> y'all be respectful, okay? Yeah. Keep in mind, we all grown over here. And we all have our differences of opinion. We uh, we all entitled to our opinion. Okay, you're free to voice your opinion, but don't come across as judging. Okay, ain't nobody judging nobody. No, nobody had no heaven or hell to put somebody in. Get in here, baby. Nobody had no heaven or hell to put nobody in. We just having a discussion we trying to understand some things so this is from instagram tiktok tiktok tabloids <laughs> um and zatima okay um mm. Somebody said, i need some excitement in my life let's go <laughs> <laughs> if y'all if y'all are uh the boy we can echo go out and come back in you go out and come back in we're going to try to keep it as respectful as we can. Y'all know how foolish TikTok can be. So choose your words wisely. And be careful of the emojis that you use. But you, we all grown. We can read between the lines. So we're going to start off with Candy. The situation with Candy talking about her and her husband. I, correct me, cause I I wouldn't I didn't listen to it. Baby, listen to it. She just let me know. So now, what what's the deal with Candy and Ty? They they like they they well, in, no, interact. In, well, no. The okay. bottom line is they she did it in no. I think she's on her show. Was talk it up or something? Talk mm -hmm. it up. Speak on. She speak, speak on, on it. it. And she was talking about the gentleman said, well. I heard that you guys know that you know you've been known to uh, like the uh, dibble and dabble and razz dazzle and mm -hmm. you know the, the uh, you know adding additional part partners into your bedroom and so um, so 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 then she said well I mean having in the last six months I mean yeah you know I mean okay and then he was like so ain't nothing wrong with it with you right and she was like I mean you know it, it don't it don't hurt she's I'm tell you that it don't hurt and then he said well have you have you done it no he said is there any random with the Hollywood celebrities is do, there any do play they like extra company <laughs> so wait so then my question was and then, and that's why this topic came about. My question, y'all answer me. Help me understand. Baby laughed at me. We're not understand. We ain't for that shit. I don't share shit. Do you share anything? No. I mean, y'all listen. No. We're, we're just talking. We just right? talking. We're just grown folks talking to one amongst grown folks. Yeah. We're not judging anybody. Yeah. If you do it, that's fine. What I, my question is, I, I just want to understand, mm -hmm. like, how does that? help your relationship yeah i know out of 111 of y'all in here i know somebody has done it <laughs> not judging anybody i just want to know like how does this 
How does but, it help your relationship? Yeah. Can somebody elaborate? And, and my question. Or if you know somebody who done it and they told you. Okay, that's her question. My question is, what can you do with two people that you can already do with one? And how, that's another question. And how come one is not enough? How many of these do you have to have to enjoy yourself? We typically don't do a lot of sharing as gay couples because because we tend to be more, more fulfilled. fulfilled. Okay. I was invited to be no, open in, in the relationship, relationship and it wasn't the best. Yeah, I okay. would not, but I would imagine people who have drives high drives can't be satisfied. So you think it's based off of a high sex a sex drive? I, I understand that people have high sex drive. However, you you still how much can you get out of uh, from two three people? I couldn't cause I couldn't cause if my love enjoying too much somebody might get hurt. Yeah. I yeah, I heard that too. And that's what I would think. You know what I'm saying? I would think that you know, if you involve you involve you know more people into the equation then it's going to be somebody's going to catch feelings at some point and it can be you you know you not knowing that that's going to happen or your significant other enjoying that other person more than they enjoy you why even why even find out that way my question my next question i'm see y'all said i mean somebody said this to adrenaline and i understand the adrenaline However, how much adrenaline you need because it's only so much these you can suck and there's so many peas you can lick. It, it, I'm just saying, it's just not that serious to be around here sharing when you only got enough for just one. I'm just saying, how many D's you got to suck? How many D's? I'm just trying to picture it. You go from one to the other, from the other to the one. See, that shit don't even look right. It don't even feel right. I'm just saying. I just can't see myself doing this. Hell. I'm just saying. So, what? Explain the adrenaline part. Because uh, I know them just. <laughs> um. I love the reaction, so maybe they won't. Wait. I love a reaction, so maybe they don't get the reaction they, they need, need from, from the mate. But then, but why involve somebody else? That's what I'm saying. Why, why don't you just, if you're not being pleased, and I don't want to say divorce your, your significant other because of sex, but if you're not being pleased that way, why? I don't know. I guess it's just mind boggling to me because I, I just, I don't know. I mean, you knew, you already knew that you weren't being pleased before y'all got married. Because most people, they, they do a little razzle dazzle before they got married. So you already know what your partner is like. So why would you even. Okay, so them say, question, do you think they do it to please the man? Because mostly one man and two women. I mean, I think some people do do it to please their to please their, their man to please their man, so that way he won't go cheating. But that that yeah, that's but they that's said it's not. But they said, but they said it's not cheating because she, she because uh, you know you you your your mate already knows about it. And then somebody said, okay, people are using the word open too loosely. It's not an open marriage when you when you're having um, threesomes. It's not an open marriage because. We already know, like, say, we, you already know what the deal is. You already know that you guys do it. You, you and your partner are okay with it. So uh, they said an open marriage is when you, right, when you um, sleep with somebody outside of your partner and they, your partner don't have nothing else to do with it. He have, they have their own, and you, they, 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 they have their own mm -hmm. sexual partner. And that, then y'all come together open, whenever, and then you go that's over an here. Open relationship. That's an open relationship. Not having having threesomes is not an open relationship. Okay. Uh, Gabby said, what happens is the other person gets feeling 
and only want to be with that other, that other person. Okay? You say maybe that's the con. Maybe in, that's the only con in the relationship mm. is to add. I don't know. Mm. Okay, let's go back down. Um... Um, let's see. It is, it's, <laughs> uh, um, there, there are, it's two D's and two P's, but it's, it's they because they're bored. Seriously. Uh, they do it thinking that it's going to keep them when it's not. No, it's not. Um, let's see. A friend was married to a guy that had issues sexually and he invited a woman to please wait a minute what a, to please a friend was married okay to to a guy okay but they had issues sexually okay and he invited a woman to please his Didn't okay what to, please, to please him or to please her raquel who is she to a guy they had issues sexually, and he invited a woman. Okay, back here, you gonna have to you gonna have to elaborate. I can't make out with sometimes one person's drive may be way old, lower than their mate, so this is compensation. That doesn't. No, that, that that's that's, that's that called cheat. That's cheat. That doesn't that doesn't constitute though doing inviting other people into your bedroom if you if their sex drive is. Then you know if one is lower than the other. Then why can't you compromise as to, you know, you know, working that out to where it works for the both? You know, okay, that person like say your husband might he might want it two times a day and every day. Well, why can't you just say okay, why don't we just start once every other day? You know what I'm saying? Start that way and let's you know what I'm saying compromise. It's all about compromise. It's not you just bring somebody else into your. Your your bed into your zone. Uh Lisa say to me if they don't consider it cheating, it opens up doors for cheating. Uh Jim say so Miss J, if they don't tell the other person they're they cheating? Yes. Woo okay. Uh, let's see. People are trying to normalize this uh uh, oh, to please his wife. Okay, so he brought in somebody else to another okay, so, to please his wife. So they have because issues. Because his sex drive, yeah. So they have issues. Let me get this straight. They have issues sexually. He does, basically. So he has sex. So he going to invite somebody else in to please him, his wife, because they got issues. At the, mm, that, shit, that don't go there. No, that don't go together. See, you're married for better, for worse. Not to share and give, and give unto others. Don't you know that we ain't do that. Um. So then, so then, so then, so what you're saying is he invites somebody else in. He invites somebody else right. in to please his wife. But does he, so he finds pleasure in. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. Even with that, even with that, even with that, because... It's more than one way. Just it's more than one way to have the big O. Because that's the end game, right? To have the big O. That's the whole end game. Hey TLC. Hey TLC. I ain't see you in here. <laughs> uh so th that's the end game. So ev so everybody get the big O. You get the big O. I get the big O. She get the big O. Everybody get the big O. Okay, so that's the end game. So. You telling me that you got to bring now y'all have some issues sexually already in and you telling me that to bring somebody else in to resolve your issues to, to for you bring to somebody get the else big in. O. Now you now I understand you can't do the big old this way. And you telling me you can't do the big old that way. I gotta watch what I say, y'all. I'm just saying. And you can't do the big old that way. And you can't do the big old that way. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, I know a lot of y'all got a lot of questions. Oh, Jesus, what did I come in on? <laughs> TLC is supposed to read the topic. It is explicit. <laughs> it's explicit. We're, we're just talking about stuff that we've seen within the media and on mm -hmm. also uh, 
uh, Zatima mm -hmm. about, you know, just relationships where they bring in other individuals. Um, we're just trying to gain an understanding because we've seen it a lot lately, even just with like Candy from the house, you know, uh, Candy from Escape and her and her husband. So we was trying to just gain the understanding, not judging, but I'm just trying to figure out how do you invite somebody else into your bedroom? Right. And, and, um, and it's so, not it's okay. You know what I'm just saying? That, that, if you're having issues, how does that, that still, your issues are still there even mm -hmm. after you have the big O. Mm -hmm. The issues are still there. So why invite somebody else off into your bedroom? Right. Is what I guess I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out. So, and I said, there's so many D's that you can suck and so many P's that you can lick. You can only have a couple of O's before your body just shut down on you. So I'm trying to understand why you gonna ruin a whole relationship. You're inviting. I ain't inviting <laughs> no one. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so how do you trust the other person? But that's the thing is, see, nobody. Mm -hmm. The way that they explain it, like the way that Candy explained it, she's like, that's something they agreed upon, right? It's been all hush hush and talked about behind the scenes, but that's something that that what she said. I don't think, I think it's, it's safe if people, people are saying, saying they're doing that to clear up, up issues. That's BS. Yes. Exactly. Well, that yeah, and so she was saying, you know, that's that's what they do. She said it 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 helps. Not that she's saying that they have problems in their bedroom. She just says it don't hurt. And right. so the guy asked her, he said, well, can I ask you a question? Have you done it within the last six months? She was like, yeah. So it's a, it's a regular thing for them. And I'm just trying to figure out how, my, my thing is, if you're wanting more than one person and you know that that's the way you, where you are sexually, <laughs> then why don't you? Candy better play with herself and fantasize for a minute or two. She. I mean, and, and, and <laughs> instead of inviting other people, why don't you then? Why don't you just be single and then you can sleep with this person this day, sleep with that one person tomorrow, sleep with that person the next day. I mean, if that's what you choose, and then that way I'm you just, have a variety instead I'm just, of I'm just trying, to, trying I'm just, to have your cake and eat it too. I'm just trying to understand why. You got to have two people to do one thing. And again, I'm going to say, the, the end goal is to get an orgasm. And the orgasm don't last that long. An orgasm don't last, but it's on. So you got two D's and two B's, and, you got, and it don't last but like that. I, I got to watch what I say, y'all. I'm just, I'm just saying. Again, nobody's judging, nobody's pointing the finger, nobody's doing that. So you're only going to have problems. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like go to the brothel in Vegas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm um, just, I don't know. See, because it, it leads me to ask the question, where is the love for your mate? And I mean, are you saying, you? Oh I'm, oh, I'm in love with you. I'm so in love with you because you let another person come in oh, i just love you so much for that some people some people i you know what i picture some people saying that because they allowed they're allowed they're made allowed their quote-unquote fantasy to come true when it inviting another person into their bedroom that made them just supposedly love them more but i think that's just the uh what you say i'm selfish i'm <laughs> like and my thing is like okay then when is it enough you know what i'm saying like when is it enough will 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 your spouse ever be enough right. for you if you have to bring somebody else into the bedroom it's not my thing but some couples enjoy the excitement or newness it's not about love it's fantasy well why can't you have a fantasy before you get married yeah Going to get it on out the way. Yeah, why you got to be why in you a relationship? Involve, why you got to involve in Why it? you got to be in a relationship right. to, to do that? Yeah. Right, right. I'm going to tell my girl to write the will because I'm not going to let anyone else down with all this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, Chelsea, you know, I get what you're saying. But they share the fantasy. That's their thing. Okay, I get it that they share, right? They share that, like, like Candy said to her and Todd, they invited another female into their room, so they shared that fantasy together. I don't, I, you know what? You I don't, don't feel I don't, some type of way. You know what? You like, know you the know reason that, why I don't buy that bullshit? Because a fantasy is, is something you want to do that one time. 
But when you continuously do it over and over again, that's something you want. That's not a fantasy. A fantasy is something that you never accomplished before that you want to do. Oh, I want to meet Mary. I ain't never met Mary. So when I meet Mary, I'm, I'm, I, my fantasy has come true. They feel the same about it, though. <laughs> they both want it. Mm. So, so, so to me, mm. to, to me, TLC, to me, it's not a fantasy. To me, a fantasy is something that you just fantasize mm. about here. And, then, and so I meet here. Mary. I got to finish what I say. So then I meet Mary, okay? <laughs> Then I see Mary again. I'm no longer fantasizing wanting to meet Mary. The fantasy may be to have a relationship like that. No. Then that means you want to be single and, and you just want to sleep around. That that's that's what that that's what it should mean. But So then that's just another way of hoeing, but you just hoeing, doing, yeah. You're just, you're just doing it um, in a relationship. In a relationship and your partner. You find it. You but 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 I okay you to hoe. You hoeing, we'll be yeah. You hoeing, I'm no, hoeing, and we, we okay with being hoeing, hoeing together. Uh, we gonna be hoes together. No, <laughs> we're just kidding. <laughs> what? No, we're just kidding. <laughs> we're just kidding. But but but. No. <laughs> we're just kidding. But I'm just. I'm trying to understand. I wish I knew somebody that can explain it. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, for real. Like. And how do you even, it's not for everyone to understand though, Frenella. I don't have to understand it. Okay. Okay. I, I get you. I, I just, it, I just, it, 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 was, it, was, it, it was coming up a lot lately, yeah. TLC. And so we were just like, you know, in the shows that we watch and, and, you know, people assuming that just because uh, one partner was friendly than the other, that that would be JJ. JJ said that's a mess and a monthly test. <laughs> I'm back with you. Ain't got men walking around here. Nah, just got just got arrested in Oklahoma for spreading HIV because they, they just sleeping over around. Just sleeping around. Nobody yeah. asking no kind of questions. Yeah. Except what time you coming over? <laughs> <laughs> you like know, poly relationships. You know what? You know what? Till see those type of relationship. That's something that they both agree on. That it's the the thing I'm saying is. Is somebody somewhere gonna catch feelings more than the other, yeah, and it's still gonna I cause a problem? Especially when you continuously, you know, keep doing it, yeah. you keep doing it. Like, 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 um, Candy was saying, like they have one individual. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So eventually, like Todd, or even maybe even Candy. I'm just saying, you so, know, well, they get tired of each other. You know what I'm saying? Or they just he just start liking. I rather, I rather just once he sleep with the yeah, the, right. the newbie, then he'd be like, I'm good. You or, know? Or say, I get my feelings hurt. Or, or <laughs> say this. Or say this. Todd and Candy are uh, together. They've been married over some um, umpteen years. Then he, Todd started looking at Candy and saying, "Well, she can't satisfy me unless it's somebody else." So then my question is, why be married to Candy? Or Candy be married to Ty? Okay, if, if it got to be somebody else in to satisfy you for me to be with you. Like somebody said on here, they say, you notice that it's always another woman. They don't never invite another man into the marriage. <laughs> it's always one man and two women. Mm -hmm. It's never uh, mm -hmm. one woman and two men. It's always one woman and, mm -hmm. I mean, two women and one man. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so Wait. then is it so then is it all then really is it really about fantasy because you can fantasize and have a threesome single mm -hmm. right you sure so can. why you wait till you get into relationship to want to have a threesome mm -hmm. that, that's my question why do you wait till you're in a relationship to want to have a threesome why don't you just have it and experience it when you're single yourself. And call it a day. <laughs> I mean, ain't nothing wrong with a junior mint every now and then, but I mean, I'm just saying. What can I say? You know, <laughs> Sorry. You know, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying. We say Todd said that will be too much. Indeed, they sell these in the store. They sell peas in the store too. And that's that. <laughs> <laughs> this will bring us to to um. This will bring us to, to Zatima. Yeah. Okay. Like Angela and Bryce. Right. You know, 
Bryce, she like there's nothing wrong with it. He said, I like men, I like women, and, and I just sometimes like to be with both. And I just thought that we would all get together. He said, all four of us. And, 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 and they were like, wait a minute, four of us? He said, we fuck each other. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes we don't do that. <laughs> but, so, but see, Bryce don't see nothing wrong with it, but... Angela have a whole problem. Angela be like, she said, would well, it be okay if it was it was two men and me? And I'm, I'm like, that's a double standard. Then why is it not okay for him, but it's okay for you? You know, you. but she have her, what she will do and what she won't do. Right. She don't want a man that like a, that well, like a dick. No, yeah, she don't like a man that like. But she wants that one. man to she like want, a woman want, that like two things. She want, she want. Two, she want her two, and two men in the bed. She want two days. Call so, so then is. Bryce is like this, but it's, he says like with people that I know. That's what I like to do. I mm-hmm. like to, you know, and engage. He, and he said with people like he know, not people random people. He didn't say random. People. Right, right. So then that's mm-hmm. what made him, you know, approach what Zach that say? way. What you say? Hold on. Men don't like too much testimony in the bedroom. <laughs> You say she wants all the attention. Yeah, yeah. Now, mm. now that Angela does, she likes a lot of attention. She has a a, a <laughs> self esteem issue, so she likes mm. a lot of attention. Yeah. So, mm, that's an extension. Oh, I think she love. has a high set. Her her sex drive is like the way that she comes across. Like she just can't. You know, she just can't. She's got to be but doing that, that. That means it's not about sex. It's something else that Deeper. she. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something else that she's lacking that she's putting it off on sex. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm. Like the therapist said, she's insecure. Yeah, yeah, he did say that. Yeah. Oh, he was checking everybody at the table. Oh yes, he did. He said, "Okay, let me start here." <laughs> so, so y'all, baby asked me last night. She said, "Now, what would you do?" She asked me, "What would I do if um I would that she was in that exact situation?" Leaning her head on somebody else after I didn't try to be there for her and what and I walk up on and if I was Fatima and I walk up on that what would I do? I said I would leave them right there. I would walk right on right on back where I come from and go to the house and get my shit and go. Because I don't understand why is it that he pushed Fatima away, but it was okay for his ex to sit there. And and a lot and of people he, do that. Yeah, he's leaning on her shoulder. Yeah. About his mom, and Fatima was there for him, and he told right. her, "Just go, you know, just go." I mean, damn it, cut her out. Yeah. Cut her out the leave. But then the ex girlfriend of the runaway girl comes around, and she sits down, and he's all on her shoulder. So Fatima comes around, and she's like, "Oh, oh, oh, is that what we doing?" Right. My but, thing is, I would have just, I would have just. But see, Lisa, you know, you and Munch and y'all said you come in there with the pop out. But my question is, <laughs> is what would that solve? Nothing. You, you, what would it solve? Because at the, the bottom line, you still not want it. Mm-hmm. You still not want it. He want his ex there. So why would you cause yourself to do time behind somebody that's already showing you they, they don't, don't want, want you? you. And, yeah. He's at the he's at the right place for me to blow the whistle. <laughs> I mean, but seriously, you know, my thing. I would I, what I would have done was I would just said okay, and I would have left out. Mm-hmm. Don't think I would have left some memories behind though. But <laughs> what you um, mean? <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> that ain't what you said last night. What you mean? I would have left some memories. Let me tell you, I would have put some, uh, what, what, do we, what do you call it? Icy hot in his drawers. I've, I would put some nair in his shampoo. I, you just don't know. I'm leaving some memories behind. But my thing is, though, I, I would I, I, I would leave. I mean, I would, that, that would hurt me. That That's something I can, you know, that's a hurtful thing for somebody to show you that they don't want you. You know, don't get the team is working extra over overly hard mm-hmm. trying to be with somebody that keeps doing bullshit to push her out the door. Um, I understand what Zach is. I understand his his trauma. I understand his 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 hurt, his pain. I understand his uh, um 
he not wanting to fail and he keeps failing that stuff and keeps self sabotaging. I understand that. I lived it, so I understand it. And I know it's TV, but I lived the very thing that they talk about. But he, he, he said that his mom, this is the thing, he said his mom had to want the help first. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with him. The, the therapist is there to try to help him. He have to want the help first. The thing is, you have to want the help in order to change the dynamics of the situation. Mm -hmm. you, you can, all that woulda, coulda, shoulda, and that crying, and you know, and don't get me wrong, I still deal with shit today. I still deal with it day in, day out. Um, but you have to put things in perspective, and you have to be willing and be open to somebody helping you solve the situation the doctor went to the hospital but his main thing was the only thing he had on his brain is that fatima got the dude that liked in the elevator that got the doctor he not seeing the doctor but who the doctor is he's seeing how it all ended up together yeah, the doctor actually was calling it for what it was yeah yeah. His whole relationship with his mom. Like when Zach started to cry, wow. <laughs> I got teared. I, I I teared up when Zach started to cry. Well, Zach is he he know the issues with his mom. He just don't wanna he don't wanna do anything about the situation. Cause you know what? My brother can't bring that to my door. That foolishness that his brother bring to the door to the door with the cigarette and disrespect. My brother couldn't do that. Come walk to my door. My you sister couldn't do why, that. But why all of a sudden now Connie <clears throat> trying to get him in previous episodes and he declined. She just wanted to see what it is. Is Connie's Connie is that Connie's one. that one. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That he always went back to. So like when you look at the, the previous episodes, they were saying that no matter what relationship he was in, anytime he, fall he back was, on Connie. Anytime he was feeling some type of way, he would go to Connie. Not that having sex resolved the issue, but she was the one that he would go to mm -hmm. for sexual, you know, for, for relations. So, yeah. So, and I guess she's used to being the one. So yeah. when she met Fatima, she was in her feelings, you know? <laughs> and then she called her, what did she call her? She <laughs> like, called her Katina. Katina, some, okay, some. Katina. And and the thing is about that one, let me just say it's it's some about it. we've all had that one. I've all <laughs> I've had that one at one time. But when you fall in love with the person that's for you, and and you that one, you no longer think about. It shouldn't that one that that comes up shouldn't rise you when they come around. I mean, I know I ain't the only one. Didn't you have that one at one time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, can that one come around and just... Oh, no. Mm -hmm. You didn't even got complete the sentence. No. See what I'm saying? <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody yeah. had that, that, that one. That one was the one at that time, but then when I actually got to know... The reasoning behind it, yeah. you know what I'm saying, right? And knowing that it really wasn't healthy, that's when, right. when that person didn't—he wasn't the one no more. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is, you have that one, but when you're in love with somebody, and that's you see that person, you spending the rest of your life with that person, you just you can't breathe, you can't eat, you can't do nothing without that person. When that one, that one that you used to call that one come around, you ain't gonna have them same feelings no more. You just ain't going it's just not gonna be there. And one no should be enough. How many no's you got to get before, I mean, how many no's, how many no's that you have to say before they get? Well, I think, I, the well, I think, I think that that person knows that you're not sincere. You see what I'm saying? Like right. she feels like if there's some type of hesitation, be like, no, no girl. Cause if it was in another, another time, yeah. well, yeah. See, that's, letting, that's letting that's that it. person know, yeah. okay, there's still opportunity there. Right. You're still just, I just need to keep pushing it just a little bit more. Right. Cause he's a little bit doubtful, but I just need to catch him in that weak. Moment. So at that point, whose fault is it in that, in that point? 
Cause to me, it's Kanye it's Kanye is not at fault. It's, it's his fault. It's his fault. Yeah. Kanye is doing exactly what she is to do. It's, it's do what she doing. Zach shouldn't have that type of conversation. When when Zach see Kanye, if the, the name come up, he shouldn't even be in the midst of the the, the, the friends. You know what I'm saying? He needs to basically. <laughs> If my friends came around and constantly brought up my ex, would you want me hanging out with them friends? Mm-mm. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. That's what I was going to say. He needs to be, he needs to, because he's already told his friends, stop. And they did. Stop. And they, so they continue. They so my thing is, it, yeah. he needs to, <laughs> he needs to cut ties with his friends. The their their chapter is over. Yeah, you see what I'm saying because their their chapter and their time in his life was when he was single, right? <laughs> and and they were all about the shenanigans. You're saying, and you're not and saying he's not that he can't, You're not saying that they can't be friends. You you're saying that the type of friendship that they had, they no longer. He's no longer in that bracket. Right. He's in. A, he's in a totally different. Yeah. He's a, he's. They're still in chapter two. He's all the way in chapter five. You see what I'm saying? He's in chapter five, and they're still back where he was single yeah. with the shenanigans, him right. sticking around. Well, now that he's settled, and see, they're disrespecting and you the know, girlfriend. It, Actually, I, to be honest, I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> I think that he should cut ties with them as friends. And the reason why I say that is because they called his woman out of her name. name. If they wouldn't have called her out of her name, but they call her a B. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So they have no respect for her. So if you want to continue to be friends with your friends, and you can, but it would just be without Jay. And it's okay. Uh-huh. So, yeah. It, it, it's just, it's just going to be without Jay. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, those friends like to see him broken. Oh, um, Monson, you you ain't gotta address the person. I I just block them all together. You know, um, I help them out. I help them out. <laughs> Roses are red, shit is brown. Uh huh. <laughs> and I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm not doing that. No. Um, <laughs> you need new friends. Don't uh don't. <laughs> Don't respect the relationship. She oh. said, oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? The, th- the thing is what, what hey, I'm Natasha. saying. The, the thing is what I'm saying is he don't have to cut his, his friendship with them. He just needs to keep them away from his house and his relationship. They have already stressed that they don't like Fatima. So once they stress, so once somebody stressed to me that they don't like Jay, guess what? They ain't got to worry about coming around me or Jay. They ain't got to worry about me, period. <laughs> so, once somebody is addressed to her that they don't like me, she going to make sure that they're not in the presence of me. You follow what I'm saying? So, that, you know, that's what he should do. He should not entertain the conversation. So, when he around his friend, Fatima name shouldn't even come up. Right. You don't need to know anything about me and my relationship. Right. Uh, when we playing ball. Yeah, that's it's not that about when we playing ball. Or about business, then we don't have no conversation. Yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah so they need to know their place. So basically, you need to say, well, first of all, you're not. I'm not going to sit here and allow you to disrespect my woman. Right. Now, how you feel about your wife, you can call her bees, whatever, all day long. But what you will not do, right? You will not call the woman that I love mm-hmm. a bee. Her name is. Right. And you say her name now. If you can't say mm-hmm. her name. Yeah. Then you come you come back around when you feel that you can, you know. But uh, other than that, we're not gonna we're not the, handling that disrespect. The other thing that I I, I want to address is, you know, Zach ain't getting off. He ain't getting off scot free. The thing is that the problem I have with Zach is that Zach won't put his foot down. He he Zach say he a man, he the man in his house, but then he let people walk right in and walk all over him. You know, you you just I, he just don't get he he ain't free of this and he can't hide behind trauma. He can't hide behind trauma because right is right and wrong is wrong. Once he knew his mother had left the the, the hospital, the first call he should have made should have been to Fatima. You know that mm-hmm. 
you know, <laughs> the first call when he realized his mom wasn't at the hospital and she left him. The the first call he should have made was to Fatima. Hey, mm-hmm. look, my mama did it again. She left. I'm on my way home. Right. When will Zach understand that his life outside doesn't hold precedence over his life with Fatima? I don't understand why he's not seeing that anything that's being done and said he needs to have <laughs> with his girlfriend first. He already know where he stand with his mama. He already know where he stand with his brother. He already know where he stand with his friend. So why the one relationship that's working, that's supposed to be working for him, he's going against the grain because of all these other people that don't mean him no good, and they all going against Fatima. Oh yeah, they blame Fatima for everything. Would you say being embarrassed of your trauma in front of people who love you is dangerous? What you mean, Lizzie Lizzie? Cause you know what? Cause he shouldn't have been embarrassed when when he was with Fatima. The right. thing is, is he was with the person that's riding the dime with him, that that's got his back, that that he, it shouldn't have been an embarrassment. She was trying to console him, be there, you know, because everybody ain't been through the same trauma. She ain't been through the same trauma I've been through. So when I go to having my episode, I ain't gonna do this here. I'm not gonna do this to her. No, I don't. And this, I'm not gonna do this here. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna embrace it. I'm gonna embrace it because she's giving me something that my trauma has never given me. <laughs> oh, she's giving me something my trauma has never given me. So why would I push her away? You know, mm-hmm. um, Fatima let him have his moment. When I cry, when I cry, she get the rubbing. <laughs> I don't get offended by this. When I cry, this is actually what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of being uh, um, grilled, huh? Yeah. Uh, he feels though he can rely on her to protect and respect his feelings. Uh, he's more comfortable around the people who saw his mom like that. Uh, he don't want Fatima to see it. Then he don't want Fatima because you you want to you want to. I don't want her to see the stuff that I dealt with and that I had to come up to. You know, coming up. And I'm sure he didn't want her to see it, but it happened. Yeah. So this is this. He should have said, "See, this is what I'm talking about." You see what I'm saying? That's what he should have said to her. See? Right. This is what I'm talking about. And the thing with Fatima is not telling him not to be around his mom. Yeah. She's she not even trying to understand it. She's just trying to console it and make sure what Fatima is doing is making sure her man is in a good place. She don't care nothing about his mama, his brother, his friend. She making sure, and that's what's bothering, that's what's not clicking with me. How she making sure her man is in a good place, but he won't make sure she in a good place concerning his friends and his mom and his brother. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. And you hear your mom and your brother calling her a B. Call, your mom and your brother's calling your woman outside of her name. And she you hasn't done anything. Take it. She hasn't done anything to them. Oh, Which, you oh, I mean, she this could. Like, she, oh, this she, is the light skinned bitch that, that they be talking about. Yeah. <laughs> The one that's taking all your money. Yeah. But, you, but, but you had to hold want my money. Though. Right, right, right. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just what it is. I, oh, man. that Them last two episodes pissed me off. I ain't lying. But at that, the same time, get, you felt, you felt like, you know, where Zach, you know, where he's coming from. I understand where he's coming from. He felt the love, from. you know, not, him not getting the right. love. Right, I his understand. Love. I understand his his whole position because I've, li- I, I've lived that, yeah. what he was dealing with. It's, the thing is, is I never pushed anybody away. Yeah. You know, I, my problem was, was always embracing people knowing they didn't have my best interest at heart. That's where I messed up at. You know. Well, don't you think that's... Cause to me that's like a cop out. Cause he's saying that he 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 he's embarrassed. 
embarrassed of what because he already told her he already told yeah, Fatima, he already, yeah he already told her hey my mom took my money and she left me at and the she store on, and she on drugs and she on drugs he so already, what's embarrassing so it's nothing new for her I, I don't know <laughs> it's just a cop out to me you know uh bob say he feels he's being pulled in two different directions but bob the question is is what direction should he be in the direction he should be in is, is the one that his 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 soon to be white you know i, I don't mean to bring the word in it but the, the word say a man finding a good wife finding a good thing he say when you you know when you find a wife you you can do away with your mom and your friend but then and i, I, I know it's tv be, be, be because his mom and his brother are just bringing him down they're they're, they're just they're, they're not their intentions are not good It'd be different if, you know, his mom had health issues and she was doing right or whatever. Right. But his mom is is on, you know, drugs. She's and she, I need the money. Yeah. Give me the money. She's on drugs. His brother, you know, is... I, I'm you know, going to tell you. You yeah. was that kind and of, I seen y'all... Would you believe now? Let me ask y'all this. I don't think they did anything. I don't, I don't think they did anything. I don't think I mean, he was anything. there, but I don't think that he did anything. I don't think they did anything, you know... The way he responded last when I saw it, I think he responded that way because he's so used to Fatima running. He's so used to Fatima and being him, accused. Being accused. If if he said well, Fatima ain't do it, then that's gonna be another argument, and he don't want to argue. Mm -hmm. So he let her think whatever it is she gonna think because he's so used to her running. You know, um. But he never. But the thing is, when Fatima said it. He never confirmed or denied. And right. that's the thing. You you never denied it. He never you, confirmed it either. Right. So the thing about it is it, but, it, him, it, but him but by him not denying it, but the it's thing like confirmation is, to the, her. No, the thing is, is why would you sit here and believe my crackhead mom? Now my mama just showed up at my house a few hours ago, beat up, bruised ribs, all that and high and all this stuff. And all of a sudden, she get a few stitches and then get some tape on her head. And then she come back to the door and tell you, I, I slept with somebody. Why would you believe my crackhead mama and not, and, and not give me the benefit of the doubt? So he, I wouldn't answer either. Because of your history with I wouldn't, two baby mamas. But that's the thing. You put, you, you, so that means you're going to hold that over my head every time something pops up. When do you give me the opportunity? When do you give me the benefit but see, of doubt? Okay, but see, the, the thing about it is the opportunity was there. For him to say, okay, wait a minute, hold on. No, no, hold no, on. no. Okay, I was. That's I, the nothing thing. Happened. That's the thing. He should not have to do that. But Tima should know him if, if, well if, enough now to say, okay. She don't. She don't have to. Every not, week. He's admit, he's every admit. week. He's been. He didn't went up to a job thinking she cheating. He. She didn't. Uh, he. She didn't thought he slept with somebody. Slept with the neighbor. Don't neighbor. When do it stop to say, okay, look, my man ain't doing this. And if you feel like your person, your your individual is doing this, why are you staying with them? Well, that part, that part. My thing is, if you keep thinking that, because the thing is, Zach is is Zach's behavior is making her question. So my thing is, right, <laughs> right. Then if it's making me question, then I need to move around because every right. week I'm not gonna keep questioning this person, that person. But Zach doesn't make it better. He makes you question. He gets himself I don't in compromising come to my house positions, every day wondering if I got an answer. Right, but he's because putting, Jenny, you're not my woman. You, you're my mom. Well, again, he, if I, every time he I walk through that door, I gotta say, well, before I get in the house, I gotta, well, she gonna ask me where well, I been, where well, I been, well, who I talked to on the well, phone, who did I see what. Well, if I got answer them puts, questions he, every time I walk puts, through the door. He puts himself in compromising positions to where he has to be questioned. Didn't you just say before, I don't put myself in a position where I have to be questioned. He did. He does. He has. He, I mean, However, all of that. Baby, he know his mom just went, uh, what, what I'm saying about that is why would she believe the mom? She's asking. Well, no, she's asking what the mama said. She's asking. No, no, no. She's still well, no, asking. The team of questions should have been, where you been? I just found out that your mama left the hospital and you, I didn't get a call from you. Don't ask me, well, is that true what your mama said? You didn't, you didn't tell She's me you were my mama. No, you're not. No, no, no. She's still asking. She's not accusing. She asked. <laughs> so when he never confirmed or denied, and with a lot of people, 
then this this warning human with a lot of people when you ask a question nobody if if, if swing asked me a question and she said were you over at the park when you weren't supposed to be and if i don't say that i just go more you know even though we don't say anything that's more like confirmation because you never denied it no I'm gonna i mean technically my question. technically you know people say well okay you no i'm gonna it. say why you ain't answer my question i ain't gonna assume anything because you could be you i can add you can you can tell me you've been to the park but you could have been at the store you see what I'm saying? So I'm gonna ask the question. I'm gonna ask why you're not answering my question. I'm not gonna assume that you wasn't at the park or if you was at the park because you could have been two other places. Well, she asked. That's all I gotta say in her defense. She asked. I just say, uh, if the question is left that's unanswered, then it comes, comes off, off as guilt. guilt. Yeah. No, that's perception versus reality. But but that's what I said. That's the human side of us. That yeah. in most cases, that's what people will say. And, and and anybody else who knows that knows. And I think he wants her to think that to piss her off, to, to push her away. I think that he wants Fatima to think that. So he never said, he never denied or confirmed. He's wanting to push Fatima away. I'm just trying to understand why Zach felt the need to lay on her on, on Kylie's shoulder. Omitting for a reason. Now, I don't think that he slept with her. I just think that he was sitting over there in the cut. Yeah, he was. We but, also, but, we all, all 205 of us saw him over there. But I, you know, because I don't even know what they went upstairs for. You know, listening to Nathan and Tony, I. Oh, I, they, they, they swear they were smashing. Yeah, I. What, 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 know, what, what, what? <laughs> listening to Nate and Tony, I won't even take them with a grain of salt. I'm like, he gonna smash some cheeks. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's, he's, um, I thought he was ready for Fatima, but apparently. <laughs> you say, why does he go to Nate's door when the homegirls always calling him over there? I don't know, because I, I have to call him Mr. I call him Mr. Fix It. I told you he keeps putting himself in compromising positions. So he puts himself in a position to where he is questioned. So I if just, you don't like to be questioned, then why don't you just. Why don't Zach you is be... just not putting her first. That's the thing. Zach is just not. Putting Fatima first. He's not thinking of Fatima when something comes about. Even it, with his job or with his friends or with his mom. He's not considering Fatima first. He's considering everybody else first and Fatima last. I think he loves her. Somebody said, I don't think he really loves her. I think he loves her. I really do. I just think that he just... Well, he's making it about way, sex now. So Yeah, the way that, that he's handling things is not... Um, He's making he's it about make some bad decisions. He, he's making it about sex now, and because Fatima is not sleeping with him as she was in the beginning, it, the relationship is now based off of sex, and so you know that's what that's what kind of come in at. And then when she feel like she's if she's not giving him any, then she gonna think that he's going he somewhere else. Getting it from somewhere like else. when he came home from playing ball, and he yeah. said, "Well, oh. okay, you wanna you wanna go head on and you wanna go head on and smell me." <laughs> to make sure I ain't been nowhere yeah. else. She said, no, just get your funky, get, get yeah. your shower. But she had already said, if you, if you come out here and smell like roses, yeah, it's going to be on. Yeah. <laughs> Zach is used to being compromised and compromises. He needs to learn how to love. He wasn't, he getting, wasn't that. getting that. Yeah. Yeah. So. I mm, don't know. I just think it's more to relationship than sex. Sex is a big part. But it's not the whole relationship. That's just how I feel about it. You know, you you got other things to you to be concerning yourself with. You got your health. You got your your house. You got your job. You you sex is not the thing that's keeping you afloat. Sex is sex is 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 a. Sex is a want. It's not a need. It's a you ain't gonna die from not having sex. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. It's a want. Would you agree? She reading comments, y'all. Don't 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 be <laughs> there. She reading comments on the TV. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm reading comments. We over have here. no. You understand? We have no problems over here. Reading comments. Anyway, no. I mean, <laughs> it's. Uh, it's, it's 
it's I'm um, having a moment. Yeah. It's it's a it's a it's a, a bonus. You know what I mean? Yeah. That especially when you have it's a one. It's, it's not a, a when you have that connection. It, it's 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 a bonus. You yeah. know what I mean? When you connect on that level, because but, you can I, but, have because yeah, I mean you can have sex we come we come into the relationship we come into the relationship as friends we didn't right. come in having sex right you see what I'm saying right. we came in it as friends right so we know it's is possible people a lot of people make it about sex but right. and it's I not- guess it depends on how the relationship how the foundation how it started mm-hmm. some people start off that's what it is but almost almost kind of like Andy, Andy and old boy, yeah. Gary. Mm-hmm. That's all they do. They don't. They don't have conversation. They don't. They don't go they out. They don't sit down. They don't go out. They don't. They don't cuddle. They don't. They don't, do they, they don't spend quality time together. They they smash and that's it. So their relationship, their foundation of the relationship is built off of sex. So once the sex lacks, of course, the right they're gonna go somewhere else. Right. So. But you say, example, uh, a man's been engaged to a woman for three years. She that haven't married her isn't committed. No. No. Because he, he still can go wherever. He can still go. Any, anybody that is not married has free range. You can be shacked up with a motherfucker. You can be. You, I, you just can't. You, you, you're talking about that's your boyfriend or that's your girlfriend. Them people have free range to go be with any anybody else, cause you're not committed. That's just how I, you know. I you ain't gotta believe, you ain't gotta be with me. You ain't gotta believe me. I'm just telling you how I feel and how I see that. So, um, and he's still getting what he wants. Getting, get, he's still getting what he wants without the commitment. Exactly. So, um. But the the thing is, I I just had to ask the question, you know. Fatima, Fatima said she Fatima didn't say she didn't want to sleep with Zach. She just said he wanted it too much, mm-hmm. and so that's what led kind of to come into play, which that shouldn't have came into play. All the next door neighbor, you know. I I, I again I say that that's a Zach problem. Zach should find a way to contain himself until, you know, they come together as a union and not as a, a, a humping up and down toy. <laughs> Watch how I say this, y'all. Um, that's what I got. That's, that's what I got. Mm-hmm. That's what I got. Maybe when, she when, needs to give him. Maybe she just needs to step back and just allow him to do him and deal with what he's got to deal with. And because it sounds like Zach don't want to be committed, he don't want to be tied down because it, to to Zach is too much responsibility, and responsibility is not something he's used to because he's used to feeling at everything he put his hands to. But me, you know, me coming up and and having trauma in the way I did, I. I wanted a relationship. I wanted to be committed. I didn't want to be a promiscuous person. I didn't want to be a person that was in and out of jail and and doing other doing stuff. I I say all I say all the time. You have to know what you want. You have to know what you want. You know. You know what you don't want. The thing that you don't want can helps you strive for the things that you want. It, it, that makes mm-hmm. sense. I knew I didn't want all this other stuff. And because I knew I didn't want all this other stuff, I knew what I wanted. I've always knew what I wanted, you know? And Zach can't use this, you know, and I'm this, and I'm always be this, and I'm a this. No, that's just excuses because people put that on you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know? Um, mm-hmm, I, you know, I, I, I just knew what I didn't, I knew. I just knew what I didn't want, and the things that I didn't want helped me strive for the things that I want. And now I don't get me wrong; I ain't got everything I want that I want, but I'm not where I I'm not where I used to be. I tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know where the thing you know thing. I don't know what Fatima's mom 
and stepfather are gonna tell her. I, I honestly don't know. Apparently, it must be something that, that, that she don't know. Well, I know it ain't gonna be that they siblings because then they won't be no more as team. They gonna have to do away with the show. So that ain't it. Um, where would you gather that from? Huh? Why would you think that? Somebody said it on Facebook. Oh. Somebody said it on Facebook that they have siblings and all that stuff. Um, but there won't be no more Zatima. I just don't see that going on like that. Um, but I don't know. People people do strange things. So, <laughs> um, so I don't think it's anything with siblings. It has something to do with Zach's past. Mm -hmm. But it don't well, have so nothing to do like, with siblings. You sure you know everything? Yeah. She's like, I don't think I, If anything, I would think, you know, they'll say that uh, Zach's, Zach's mom is actually his aunt. You know, Zach is adopted, you know. But still, it, that would be that, that major. Probably, that would be main thing. But, the, but, the, the mom, the but mom would probably think Zach didn't tell Fatima that. You know, but still would be anything major. I think she, I think it's something that's major because she's like, I, I don't think that you do. Yeah. And if yeah. you, you know, if they already found out about the jail thing, so it's got to be worse than that. And it does Zach's stepfather, this still doesn't make Fatima and um, Zach related because that's, that's not blood. So, um, there wouldn't be nothing wrong with that. So. I don't think so because you know what? I think that they would have told them immediately not for them to go back and and be together. They right. would have been like, look, we got something to tell yeah. you. Okay, well, Zach left, and, but I need, to, I need to let you know that uh, and yeah, his father wouldn't have let him walk out the house like that. Right. If that was his father. Yeah. So I, I don't, don't think, think that's yeah, the case. I don't, I don't know what case. it is, but I don't yeah. think that's the case in this situation. Yeah. If if it's some relations is is down the line. That you know, the stepfather Fatima's stepfather might be his uncle, you know, something like that. <laughs> or his long lost brother, but if if anything, he probably Zach is probably um adopted. If anything, so and they know it, he just don't know it. And his mama might be his auntie or his older sister. I don't sister. think that they would. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I, don't I don't know, know what it is. I ain't gonna speculate. Yeah, I'm just waiting. I'm mean, gonna wait and see too. I'm gonna wait and see too. But that's the question we had, y'all. I, I had asked, baby. I I don't understand. Why people need so much sex? Why do people need so much sex from different random people? Why they need, what is it about that they need so much sex? And when you can only get a couple of ass, what, why is it? Why, why is it? And there's so many holes you have. There's so many holes you have, and there's only one puncture that you can use. It's a puncture, you know, puncture. You can use these, you can use these, you can use these, you can use these. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just but, 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 saying, but I'm just saying, there's so I mean, many holes I, you know what, I you should have asked my, my co-worker <laughs> years and years ago, you know, because it just blew me away. What? You know what I told you about that co-worker? Yeah, but nobody's, nobody's satisfied. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So at what point... Uh, is your your partner or your your significant other will they ever satisfy you? That would be my question. And you know what if I mean? not, and then you I'm, can't be satisfied if you're going outside. And then, I know TLC said it's based off of fantasy, but to to me, then when fantasy when fantasy is here, and that's all that, and that's where it's left. It left is here. Yeah. Fantasy, because see now, fantasy became reality. So it's it's no longer fantasy anymore. Yeah. Is, does that make sense? The, and all, yeah. And my, and, and my question is, what happens when you get up? When it's all said and done, and everybody get up and go on their merry way? Are you ready for fear? Oh, you, I know you're tired. You gotta be tired. <laughs> Is it something that you can just go and, and broadcast to your family and go, Mama, I had me a threesome and no, ooh, no, and it was no, no, good. No. no, you keep it amongst yourselves. Yeah. And apparently, that's the that's the thing. You keep it amongst <laughs> yourselves. Oh, man. I, I, mm, mm, okay, so. Hmm. <laughs> then so, they go get another person. Exactly. Right. Yeah. 
because you done got used to that person. So now it's somebody new. It's, it's not you intriguing no more. It's not intriguing. I mean, what? I mean, mm, mm, I don't share shit. Because um, I even like, what's, what's his name? Ronnie, 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 Ronnie DeVoe. Ronnie DeVoe? Um, you know, from, from New Edition. Him and his wife, they, they started out where they were doing threesomes. Mm-hmm. But now it got to the point, if I'm not mistaken, when I watched uh, Marriage Boot Camp or Mar- Boot Camp Marriage or whatever it's called, th- she was wanting it. Now, now he wants his wife. He just wants his wife. Mm-hmm. I guess he's like, okay, been there, done it. But now she's attracted to other women, and so now every time she go, you know, there's somewhere, you know, she want to tap a, a female and, and on that, her on her ass, and, and, that's and because think about, that, you that's, know, that's only because it's an emotional connection. It's not a physical connection. It's an emotional connection. When you, when you see somebody, she go slap on that. She gonna feel. It, she gonna feel it here. Before she feel it there, it's an emotional uh, connection. And she thought it don't have that with Ron. Yeah, she have a physical connection with him, but it's something about that emotional that you just you, you just drawn. You know, you just drawn to that individual. So, so she drawn every female that she see. E- emotional connection, yeah. I ain't gonna say the one she see. You know, well, I mean, when they were showing it, you know, she, he was like, every time I turn around, it's somebody. He's just wanting. Uh, hey, hey, legend. Can swing? Can I tell you what was said to me at one of my? What was said at your job? Oh, meet the legend. Why you on here? Let me tell you what happened. Meet the legend. You asked me how did I get in the truck driver? What? It, and I was trying to TikTok one. Let me tell you because I put it all in there. Look. I didn't want to be no drug head. I didn't want to be in and out of jail. I didn't want to be promiscuous. And so being a truck driver, I had money in my pocket and I was able to feed myself. So that's how I became a truck driver. So there you go. But that's what it was. But, you know, and say I used the word prostitute and and, and drug dealer. No, they wouldn't let me put out. They wouldn't let me put that on there. <laughs> so I was trying to tell you that I didn't want to be you know, those things. So that's what, you know, and at the time, um, you know, going through, I didn't, I was hard here. I didn't want to listen to my mom and I was living from pillar to post. Um, that was the next best thing. And I've been doing it for like 28 years. You know, I'm ready to retire, but I'm not at that age where I can. So I, I gotta keep at it. Uh, no, I didn't get the job, Mel Mel. They didn't call and they, 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 no, I didn't get the job, but I'm, I'm still working with the one I got though. Uh, I'm still working with, I know it's all sort of a feeling was, uh, I was working, talking with my co What happened? What happened, T Money? Okay, so we done talking about the other stuff? Yeah, okay, I guess. Okay. I guess. Um, what you saying, Navy? All I got is last. Yeah, I know what you mean, Mel Mel. But that's what we had on um, Jatima and TikTok and Instagram tabloids. Um. Oh, oh, oh! Real quick, <laughs> back on another subject, y'all. We can talk about this other stuff. Okay, so did y'all? Because this is hilarious to me. Did y'all hear on the Instagram about Hazel E? When she showed the video of her mom's macaroni and cheese. And I don't know if y'all seen the macaroni and cheese. And the macaroni and cheese looked like um, apple crisp. And so people went in and Countess Vaughn said it looked dry and this, that, and the other. And then she went back and she talked about Count Countess' uh, thyroid issue or her, yeah. her eyes yeah. and her weight and, and her health issues and, and this, that, and the other. And so then everybody else went in on... On Hazel, and this will take my Braxton cuting. Take my sitting down no, like the she only said, Braxton I know is Tony. She said, <laughs> she, she said, uh, that looks like apple, it does look like apple crisp, you know. She said, it really do. <laughs> and so then Hazel come back and say, Well, the only Braxton we know, or I know, no, she said, we know is Tony. And wow. then so then somebody came back and said, Well, the only Hazel we know is which Hazel and Hazel, but <laughs> I mean, they just kept going back in. I, I said, don't put that on your mama. Her mama didn't do all that. Actually, I did comment. I said that. I said that. I said don't she. Don't be doing I that. Said she put, I'm picking up. I'm fighting. I'm fighting. I said that ain't 
ain't her mama's mac and cheese. That's hers. She just passing off. I don't know if y'all seen that. But oh man! Take more time then, and everybody. I everybody seen that food. In. I was like, ooh. I was like, mm. yes. They was cut like, up. That was so funny. It did look like apple crisp. What's look, apple crisp? What is it? It looks that? like um. Just what it look like. Just what it look like. That's what apple crisp look like. With the little crunchy stuff on top, and mm. and it was so dry. And it's, it's on like, Instagram, legend. It's on Instagram on the shade room. It's wait all over the shade and room. Wait a minute, the spoon <laughs> wouldn't even release it. You know how when she's trying to take it out the dish, <laughs> you know you it hit was, it, you hit it, it like this. <laughs> wait. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you. I'm not gonna show it to y'all. I don't know if y'all can see it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, oh my God. I'm, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. Green, them greens was dry, 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 dry. I said, Ooh, oh, those greens was green. thirsty. They was thirsty. I, was I, think, I think she cooked that stuff. And she <laughs> Use another on utensil to get that off the utensil. Wait, wait, I can't do it. <laughs> oh, man, wait. <laughs> That's mac the macaroni and cheese, y'all. Wait. Uh, 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 uh. Why this stuck? Wait, 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 let's get to the greens. Wait, look them green. Look. Ain't no juices coming off this spoon. No, not not none. Ain't nothing watery. What's that? Some type of rice. Oh it was no. it, it was y'all that <laughs> Donald Shaw said, oh hell no. <laughs> <laughs> y'all oh, they man. they was going in i was cracking up about it last night <laughs> i was cracking oh, up oh man y'all gotta go read the funniest <laughs> part is read the comments y'all the oh, comments man. are hilarious <laughs> when i tell you what you say them canned greens she drained all the liquid before Cause, yeah because it wasn't nothing coming yeah, cause somebody said they was glory greens wasn't nothing coming out that spoon when you pick it up and ain't nothing dripping that shit is dry Somebody said that's real dirty rice. <laughs> <laughs> that's A W. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Y'all had to check it out. That's what oh, I, I was rolling last night when we were talking about. <laughs> she said comments are always the best. <laughs> Uh, it's on the system. shade room, y'all, on Instagram. Yeah. On Instagram, Instagram, it's on the shade room. Just go and then you swipe left and you'll see the video. Oh man! Something else, but she went in on Countess Vaughn, and somebody told her they said. You out all people is just praying. Yeah. Not asking people to pray for you because you had all this cosmetic surgery and you had health issues. <laughs> and then you want to talk about somebody else's health issues. Say, yeah, just get somebody else to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> get Mikey. Mikey and eat it. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. But, oh, man. So that, that's, the, that's the viral video that's going around right now. That's well. That was hilarious. Yeah, that's been going around for a couple of days. She showed that to me, and I was like, "Ugh, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> yeah, man." Scooby said, "Feed it to the dog." Uh, uh she the dog would be like, "Ugh." You said that's why she can't keep no man. She can't cook. Oh, oh, don't say that, Jazzy. Don't say that. Don't say that. She can order out. She says she can order out. <laughs> What'd you say? No, Mikey won't eat that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Crazy. But, y'all, we, hey, I appreciate y'all for being respectful on here as we talked about the topic. Um, I was scared to have it because, you know, some people like to run with stuff. Um... They're always frozen meals. But I don't think, I don't think no, but frozen meals be dry too. They be dry too. Mm -mm. They, they do be dry. No, I said, mm -mm, but yeah. okay. Yeah, they be dry too. So, um, <laughs> there she go. You gonna play it for them? Wait, let's play it for them. Wait, let's play it for them. I know they watched it, but we gotta watch it. Ah, uh, wait. Mm -mm. Oh, oh, wait, 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 because if you get out of it, then it's not going to say, you're not oh. going to say that. Wait, wait. I like to swing. And they said my name too many times on here, y'all. Listen. I'm into a lot of things, okay? 
and I like to swing. That's one. And I, and I, I wanted, I was planning on telling you about it. Wait, so like swinging with other couples? That's two times they just yeah. said my name. Yeah. I, like, I like being with guys, I like being with girls. And I only do it with people that I, I feel comfortable with. And that See I that and I thought that Zach was sending me signals that he was into it too. That's what happened. What signal did I ever send to you that that's what it was? Because that's a big fucking no. Okay, okay, fine. I was hoping that the four of us <clears throat> and we the, being... The, the four what, huh? The four, the four of us? No, we fuck each other. Right. We're not even doing that right now. Right. <laughs> Surprise. You're what? What? <laughs> I don't... Oh, know. man. That was... Hey. Oh man, she's a bright bitch. She's a what? <laughs> How dare you put that out there? <laughs> she's all no, right? <laughs> oh man, I'm fifteen to turn into Scooby Doo. <laughs> oh man, she said, "Wait, wait, what?" <laughs> the, the four of us. <laughs> Oh man, I just want, I just wonder how people just assume that shit, you know, just, how you just assume that if I ain't never said But it? I'm wondering like that, what signals was I throwing at you? Cause he never threw any type <laughs> no, of signal. No, he did when he said he wanted Fazima in, in, in. Yeah. Like he said, your so, brain, your brain in Fatima's body. Yeah, brain, not body. He wanted his brain, not his body. I know he said, I know. Well, no, he said just, his just... brain in Fatima's <laughs> body. Yeah. So <clears throat> that doesn't constitute that I want to sleep with you. That's just like saying, ooh, I, see, I wish my baby thought like you. I wish your brain could be. I wish she had your brain. Wait that's a just, minute. That's, that's, that, that's just complimenting the person the way that they think. The way that they think. What it's she... not saying I want to sleep with that person. What was she saying about my brain, y'all? <laughs> uh, do y'all think they're gonna break up? No, cause it, it won't be it won't be Zatima if they break up. Nah. Uh, I don't know. I don't so, know. But anyway. Yeah. That's uh, all we had today, y'all. That, that made my head hurt. That 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 whole shit made my head hurt. They did because I. Well, I think we were seeing it too often in in out on social media about the whole not not with uh fatima and them but just in general with the topic that we're talking about it was just it came up a lot lately and and i'm gonna say when y'all saw monique special monique did not say she was bisexual at the end of that show she said she thought about it and she just never acted on it because of how her people or her grandmother somebody was Gonna look at her. She was telling a story. She does not. That woman is not saying she bisexual. That's just how I feel about it. Yeah, the people think she didn't run with it. Mmm, 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 mmm. I thought, I, but I thought she said she did. She just said thank you. She said she. I thought she said she would. I don't know. But I don't know, but uh, the way that I took it, she said she said not, she, not that she, she did, not she that she would. did it. Is that person did her, and then she said, "I said thank you." I have to watch it again. I don't know. But I don't know. I have to say it again, but that's not saying that that woman is bisexual. They say it, it, it's a difference in one experiment or some experiment on some shit and just doing some shit. That's not how that shit goes. So, since we're still talking and we're <laughs> being explicit and we're being adult, yeah. Uh, so, is there a What? Is there a difference, like, say, from being bisexual by her just the girl being with her, not her being with the girl? So the girl, like, say, this is what I'm saying, allegedly, the, 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 the other female was right. with her with her mm -hmm. sexually mm -hmm. but she wasn't with her sexually she just did her so would that be considered bisexual i wouldn't say so because being bisexual means you you, you she do her yeah. or do her oh. and then she do him okay you know okay she had an encounter that's what i said she had an encounter 
Experimenting. Yes, that's what I call it. Experimenting that means at one time. And let her tell it. That's all the time. No, I'm just saying. Experimenting yeah. means one time. Like I, you say, I experiment in smoking cigarettes. So you just did it that one time. You didn't do it. I just think for two years. I think you're bisexual, being bisexual is saying that you like. That's a men. lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. You like a man and you like a woman. woman. You see what I'm saying? Okay. But she don't like a woman. Maybe she likes a woman. A ice I'm cream. sorry. She don't <laughs> like a woman. She likes a woman to do her. Right. You know. <laughs> Babies, yeah. Woo! Okay, okay. Well, okay. no, that just answered the question. Well, give me some, Joy, please. You, please, give me some Kool Aid or something. I ain't gonna All right, hold me. on. I can take it. Hold on. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lifestyle. It's not who she. It's not who she is. People, you know, just. Just uh, put that on her because she said it. And people will be so ready to just, you know, people will be ready to just dog you rather than understanding the story. I listen to the story. You know, shit, I don't look at Monique and say, oh, Monique bisexual, oh, I want to be with her. Oh, you think she'll be with me? You know, no, that ain't what that woman said. That ain't what she said. That ain't what she said. <laughs> that ain't what she said. <laughs> so, all right. So she just she had a fantasy, mm -hmm. and the fantasy That's was fulfilled. Said. Now it was reality, and which what well, like old girl said, whoever said that she just experimented. That's it. That was she it. loved her husband. She loved. She Sydney. loved her daddy. She loved Sydney. Daddy. Sydney. That's what she called he, him. That's daddy. what she called him. His ass is sitting in the me. Little dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop it, Q. Stop it. <laughs> I mean, she loves, that's what she call him. I call him Sydney. Mm. I don't know. I mean, I just, this is what I say. And this is even before I even, uh, you know, gotten and was committed to baby and got a relationship with baby is that, and I say this about anybody, I mean, whatever floats your boat, really, you know what I'm saying? As long as it's not harming anybody, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, we laugh, we joke, we talk about all this stuff here. I mean, mm -hmm. everybody, everybody's different. My thing is just don't put people in stuff when you could have stayed single. You know, like, mm -hmm. you know, like all of a sudden, like you, we, we dating, we get married, mm -hmm. and as soon as we get married, like a year in, and I say, you want to bring somebody else in? No, hell but no. If I wanted that, why didn't mm -hmm. I do that when I was single? Why bring somebody mm -hmm. else in? Because apparently, because. to me, apparently, there's something mm -hmm. going on here. Like, mm -hmm. either I'm no longer attracted to you, or you're not doing it for mm -hmm. me. You're not enough for me. Um, yeah. I know TLC said it's a fantasy, but to me, fantasy stays here. Right. It doesn't, fantasy doesn't become reality. Once it does, then it's no longer a fantasy. It's no longer a fantasy. There you go. Give me, give me some. Yeah. <laughs> it's no longer a fantasy if it, when it comes to You can fantasize about yeah. somebody or it, something. It won't be a fantasy of mine to meet Mary if I didn't met Mary. Damn it. Shit. It's a fantasy of mine to meet Mary. But if Mary walk her ass through that door right there, it's no longer a fantasy because I didn't met her. It's reality. And then when I met her, when she come back through the door, it's no longer a fantasy and it's no longer meeting her because I already seen her before. Give me something. Shit. <laughs> it, it's really complicated. <laughs> it's really It really complicates things when, a third, when it's a third person. Fantasy doesn't become a reality. Fantasy doesn't become a reality in a marriage. I it can. I mean, if people are bringing in other people, that they're if it's a fantasy for them, it's a fetish. If you keep wanting, it's a fan. It's no longer a fantasy. It becomes a fetish. Mm -hmm. Then it becomes a fetish. Then it becomes a habit. And we all know what happens with habits. So, um, and again, we and then this is our opinion. Open marriage is is for people. The open marriages for 
that they don't know each other. Like if Monique was to be with somebody else, Sydney ain't gonna know that somebody else. If Sydney was to be with somebody else, right. they disagree to Monique, sleep with Monique other people. Monique ain't gonna know that other pe- Not, that person. Right. That's an open marriage. They don't marriage. sleep with people together. So that somebody had explained that the other day. They said, okay, people are using. I think it was even a therapist or somebody. They said yeah. people are using the word open mm-hmm. loosely. Yeah. It's like open marriage does not it does not constitute. Uh, threesomes and right. open marriage is when they're talking about open marriage they're talking about like the Jada and Will situation where she had this thing going on with Alex Alcina over here Will was with this woman over here you know they, they didn't mix the two now, yeah. you know open marriage is not a mixed thing how about how about we say it that way <laughs> it's not a mixture open marriage is not a mixture anything that mixes it becomes uh, is a, a, a threesome a foursome a fivesome you know yeah, it's no, no longer there's no, it's no, there's, no, there's, no, no there's no mixers and no no spoons and vows <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so when, when I read that I was like you know what okay now that makes sense people was using open so loosely yeah um, and then and, 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 and let people tell it almost everybody in Hollywood got open marriage right. I mean you know people want to go around telling stuff but because uh, wasn't it Bryce that said that well that's a threesome wasn't it Bryce that said that about um, when when Angela said well, she, she wouldn't mind being with, with two, two men, men yeah. and then Bryce said well that's a threesome right and he was just wanting he was yeah. wanting to swing his thing is what he wanted to swing, and I think a swinging means when you're switching partners. And my, my it, name it, it, means dancing. My name, let's let that be clear. My name means dancing. It means like four people, <laughs> I guess four people or more. So Yeah. Just so y'all understand, swing therapy means dancing. For you close minded motherfuckers on the other side over there. We said just like they like <laughs> using narcissism loosely. loosely yeah. yeah. I've been hearing that a lot too. Everybody yeah. want to blame when the relationship it. don't work out. They want to blame that that yeah that uh, is, yeah. yeah yeah instead of taking accountability. They hey, that I screwed up or <laughs> that person screwed up or it just you know just thank you A and W. That's what my work. name mean. My name don't mean that other shit. But then you know people be thinking crazy. <laughs> be like because they said my name too many times and at, at that table with Zach and Fatima and. And 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 Bryce and that. I was like, right, y'all need to find another word. <laughs> Why <Wang> ain't it? <laughs> uh, we don't know nothing about Jamie Foxx. I just I just read where it was something about an aneurysm. Nobody knows anything. It was just said something about an aneurysm or something. Uh, aneurysm busting his head or something. But I don't know anything. Is uh, that speculation? Because the one night I, I, I seen with who'd you get hit that from? Gail. No, that was on uh, Instagram. Oh, see, that's mm-hmm. speculation then. Yeah. Because even Gail didn't even know. Oprah's been open. Mm-hmm. He good friends with Oprah. And then Gail didn't say nothing. Hey, DC. What's up, DC? Oh, man. Um. But like somebody said on Instagram, and not to be rude or anything, but mm-hmm. then when his daughter sent out the statement and said, uh, our family would like privacy, would like somebody said, well, we wouldn't even have known about it if you yeah, wouldn't have said anything. Known if it so said, you're yeah. asking for privacy on something that you, you put out you there. publicly put out there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So she would have just kept quiet, waited till he healed, and then he could have told the story. Yeah. But you steady wanted to put it out there for attention to me. Yeah, what's the what's the reason why um Ricky Smiley, you know, granddaughter's mama won't let him see the granddaughter? What what's that about? Anybody know what that about? Why they won't let them that man see his granddaughter? You said no, it happened on the and set. Said on the set. Oh, okay, okay. But the media outlets would have put it out the, out there worse. Okay, that's why. Oh, so she tried to that's get, why to she the punch. get a get up get up front, get ahead of it. Okay, you're right. I got you, Mrs. Foster. Oh, um, why they won't let that man see his granddaughter, and why he got to fight for 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 grandparents' parental rights, and uh, what what's that all about? They it's say that mess. they don't have any. It's been going on before his son passed away for something got being told. His son was not seeing the baby. The mother was not allowing him for two years. Oh, just having she same way with his son. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's, it wasn't just with Ricky Smiley. It's, it's now she was doing Wait that with Brandon. Wait a minute, that, is, no, that don't make sense. That don't make sense. Uh-uh. Right. That don't make sense because the woman that 
that he has the child with, mm -hmm. wasn't that the woman that he was with when he passed away? Mm, I don't know. Because I went to her Instagram page and, and they, they were still together. So they together and he's seeing them, his child. So I don't know. So that's, a, that's somebody that's different? A, that's a different woman? That's somebody different? So that's not the baby mama. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know, y'all. I, I don't know. No, they want the granddaughter to end under Ricky's care. Wait, what now? It's a, no, I said they don't want the granddaughter to end under Ricky's care. Okay. I thought they split up. No. Oh, it's not, not the, the child's, child's mother. mother. Okay. Oh, okay. I was going to say. No, cause... he wasn't with the baby mama. Oh. Okay. 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 Because see, I, the way that it appeared is that the, his fiance or his girlfriend, Nat, the you know, way that he, when he was mm -hmm. with, when he passed away, cause she's the one that found him. Mm -hmm. You know, they were together and she was talking about how much she loved him and, you know, miss him. And I was like, okay, so they was together. She was only allowed, she, uh, she only allowed the baby to go to the funeral, funeral which, which was, was sad. sad. They trying to take the baby from the mama, but I believe he may not have been mentally stable. Ricky shouldn't talk bad about his granddaughter's mind, would make him not want the child to be around. You know, I, I, But he didn't talk bad about her. He just said, yeah. he just sent the text, what I've seen so far. Is he just sent showed the text for Easter saying inviting her over right. and saying, Hey, I bought this Jeep for her and he gave a list of the activities for Easter right. and said we would love to see her. Right. And then he said no response. And that's all he said. And then actually a good friend of his said, Say man, this is not the place to yeah. do this. Okay. Uh don't do it on social media. You know, you know, I would say this and hopefully Ricky get this. I hope Ricky hear what I'm saying. Ricky, I'm gonna tell you what my mama would tell me. Don't fight people behind their children because their children don't stay children. Them children get older. And then when them children get older, they get to asking questions. And then when they get older than that, then they start to come find the answers for themselves. So don't beat yourself up. You know, just let them, just let them be. Let them be. Because what's her name? Stormy? Storm? Storm. Storm. Stormy ain't going to stay a child long. She ain't going to stay the age she is. She going to grow up. And then she gonna get to get like me. When I got a certain age, I start asking questions. And I, I start. I get, I get what he's saying yeah. though, because he's missing out. On and I, and I understand. Years. I understand that. Yeah. But you will want you will want your peace of mind, and just wait. You know, because you don't want to have no headache. You don't want to get high blood pressure. You don't want to spend all your money on lawyers and all that. And them children get grown. Cause it, start, start. Which is our name? Is Storm? Storm ain't gonna remember this. All this fighting over her, and and you come to see Grandpa, and you did. Storm ain't gonna remember this stuff. Storm is Storm ain't gonna remember stuff until she get about seven, eight years old. All this stuff here that you're spending money on, keep your money in your pocket. So something has not totally been said, but Ricky didn't have a good rapport with his son yeah. either. <laughs> I mean, I think it goes back to him not being there. See, mm -hmm. what happens is a lot of kids hold their their parents. Uh, responsible because oh you was on the road but yeah but I was making a living so you can eat right. I'm making a living so you can roof over your head you know not thinking okay but you, I know, understand that you want your dad there but your dad's trying to make a living this is mm -hmm. what he do so that's the sacrifice but I'm you know I don't I don't know the ins and outs between you know who that was with him and his son mm -hmm. but I do know that Ricky is a very strong dis dis disciplinary yes he, yeah. discipline <laughs> and respect is right. a thing with him and he he he's old school and see a lot of parents don't like that now even the kids you know don't All like I'm that I'm saying is they need Ricky need to just stop spending money you know and just go on with his life and and you know don't forget about his, his grandbaby pray for your grandbaby he just just, under, just understand or something yeah send Christmas cards card. and 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 if they were trying don't to send no them. money don't send no money yeah just, just send yeah. a card let because know Storm, about stormy it. is not going to stay at the age she is trust and believe when she get a certain age she is going to come looking and when she find the answers that she's looking for you ain't got to worry about it. She's going to take care of it. <laughs> yeah, you know, just as long as your, your heart is in the right place. But don't go spending your money on something you know that woman is acting a, a complete donkey behind them people. That's I don't even know. Uh, 
is it Rika? I don't, I don't even know what who uh, who um, I forgot the little boy's name, but yeah, I, yeah, I don't know whose whose child he is because yeah. see, he takes nieces and nephews' children too yeah. and raise them. So, yeah, so I don't know. You know, you know, Ricky's heart is in the right place, and God knows his heart. He's a, he's a, a God fearing man, you know. So you know, God 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 got him. God got him. So just keep your money in your pocket and and just do away with it. But hopefully just, everybody just hopefully everybody can sit down and somebody yeah. comes to happy medium. If not. Yeah. I heard grandparents don't have their have, have yeah, any rights. Yeah, Storm ain't gonna stay at the age she is. She's gonna get older, and she's gonna get she's gonna have questions. I promise you. Somebody says keep the grandchild away from Ricky. That's crazy, but and that's grown up stuff. Ain't got nothing to do with the child. Uh, the child is the one step. My family went through the same thing with my nephew, and still has. So, yep. So that's it. That's that's the advice I got. I'm giving advice that my mama told me. You know, them people, them children don't stay kids. They they grow older. So, um, but that that's what I got. Anyway, you got anything else, babe? That's it. That's it. Happy Friday, y'all. Happy Friday. Oh, he said, life is just how I went through the best friend two years ago, daughter's family. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on, Kennedy Smith? I just wish people wouldn't use children yeah. to get back at somebody because you feel some type of way. But I get why people use children. They use children because... They know that's where they get, get them. Right. They use children because it's not going to bother you if I don't talk to you no more. But it'll bother you if I keep your grandkid away from me. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's not going to bother you that I don't talk to you. But it's going to bother you if I keep mm-hmm. your grandchild. Yeah. So that's the reason why they do it. Yeah... So. We'll probably be on tomorrow. Yeah, we'll probably be on tomorrow. Yeah. I don't know. I want baby to rest one of these days. But. Hey, I got a question. Um, yo. <laughs> Woo! That's another one. Um, y'all, y'all be with me. Y'all, y'all follow me on this, okay? I, I, tell me if I'm wrong. I just, I, I'll apologize if I'm wrong, okay? I had an incident at work. Okay, I didn't have no incident. This, this is just how I went. Okay, I got to the customer. Y'all tell me if y'all would pay for this. Now, you the customer, okay? Y'all are the customer, okay? I'm bringing some oil to you. I'm picking it up from the shipper. Now, I'm picking I'm, it up from me. Yeah, I'm picking, I'm picking the oil up from her. Now, mind you, I'm just a truck. I don't, I, don't, I don't mess with the trailer. I don't do the paperwork. I don't do none of that. All I do is take me, my truck, go hook up to her trailer, and she's shipping it off to you. Okay? Then I get to you. You then I, I make you sign the piece of I make you sign my paper because I'm the middleman. I then took the trailer from her and I then brought it to you. And before you clip them damn uh seals, before you clip them seals to say you finna go in that trailer. I make you sign a piece of paper saying you responsible for this trailer and you uh you going you going this load going to fit into your tank, okay? You then I have to clip you sign it. I clip the um the seals. I get up on top of the truck, open up the dome lid, bam. I get in the back, hook up the hose and clip to the thing and I clip the hose and I hook it up, bam, okay? Then I open up the trailer. Let it drain a little bit. Then I put it this right here. Let it drain in there. You then, the customer, take this. Take it to the lab. Because they have to take it to the lab to test it. Right. You take it to the lab. You then test this, okay? And it has water in it. In the oil. In the oil that I brought that was was sealed and I got from her. Okay? So then you come back again. You say, okay, they got water in there. Let's try it again. Let it drain. A whole bucket full. Then you take this, a whole new bottle. Brand new, ain't been took. Drain it some more. Take it to get tested. You bring it back, you say, they still got water in it, okay? After two hours, I start to get paid detention because I didn't been there after two hours. Okay, I'm going into that, that third hour now, okay? 
So then that third time, they it get tested. It barely passes, but it passes enough for them to take the oil. Okay? So when I get done, I done been there three hours and 15 minutes. So which means I get an hour and 15 minutes to merge. So I turn in my paperwork. Then the dispatcher tells me that my boss tell me that they didn't sign for demurs, so I don't get paid demurs. Who responsible for paying me demurs? Is it you the customer? Or is it her that they had oil in the water? I'm just trying to see. Because I'm not responsible for my own demurs. I'm, one of y'all got to pay me. So who pays me for demurs? Her, her, she paid me for the bird? Or you? Ask the customer. Said, I ain't no way I'm paying one dime. <laughs> <laughs> huh? They said me. So, so, now, nah, nah, okay, so my question is, would you sign on the bottom line for detention saying, yes, yeah, she was here for three hours, and I, you as the customer going to pay an extra hour and 15 minutes to merge? Her because, what'd you say, what? Yeah. Because of dispatcher. Something because of dispatcher. Okay, Dis I'm trying to see. They originated because they had water in the oil. Okay. That's exactly, you're I right. Like, exactly I like right. really, I like really one. When, oh, it's, it's really one? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's yeah. it to to me, I thought it was the cus not the customer, the person the shipper, who, the shipper. The shipper. The shipper. Because the shipper it had oil in it. I mean it had water in it and it was sealed up. Right. And it was sent to her. I mean then she picked it up. Right. So it was sealed up when she picked it up. Right. When she took it to the customer, right. That's when she broke the seal. Right. So she, and she do it in front of them so that way nobody can accuse anybody of anything. Okay, Anna Crockett, you say nope, the customer pays you. Anna, why would the customer pay for something that wasn't their fault? I'm just uh, Anna, make me understand why is that they did. Let's see, the shipper supposed to take something before they shipped it. It question Scooby. The thing is, let me let me tell you the difference with with that. Let me tell you, let me tell you, I can tell you what happened. I can tell you what happened. What happened was they filled the truck. They, they cleaned the truck. Now, mind you, I don't know if they detergent was or they diesel flood, but they cleaned the truck, okay? What happens is they fill it, and then when that truck sits overnight, the it condense, it settles, and then the water sweats on the inside. So then they have water in it on the inside, and then that water settles at the bottom. So then by the time I pick it up, by the, by the time I pick it up and take it to them, then it has water in it. But when she filled it, it didn't have water in it. But by the time I picked it up and brought it to them, it had water in it. But the thing is, is, is the customer tested it and saw that it had water. Should the customer be responsible for, for paying? Should the customer be responsible for paying for the oil? And it's not their fault that they had water in it. I say they shouldn't, but my dispatcher say, but they still took the oil. Even though it was three hours later, it was three hours in, they still took it. But the thing, the, the, the problem I have with it is that it wasn't their fault that it was water in the oil. Right. They took it after testing it three times and then it came back with no water. But it took three. It took three, three times. Try, yeah, three tries. So the customer, after one test, send it back. The customer decides. Uh, decides to continue to test. Now, now you on their their time. This is the seller is responsible. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I mean I'm open for it. Like if I'm wrong, uh, uh, it's, the it's the shipper. shipper. Okay, yeah. the, the customer, customer should, should pay, pay for it. it. They, they tested it and passed it due to condensation. What well, is they, going? Then they're not basing it off of condensation. They're just basing it off of it being they, it being water, water in, in it. The, so in they the tested it. I'm, I'm saying that that's how it happened yeah they you, you know what you know what uh scooby it'd be different if they if they loaded it and i took it right then so then when i took it right then and they unload it wouldn't have had no water in it you see what i'm saying hmm. so you say but they accept and i get that scooby i promise i get that they accepted it but they accepted it after it was passed 
So let okay, let me ask this question. Would it cost more to to reject the trailer or pay me an hour and 15 minutes? Which one would be more logical? For them to reject the trailer and send it back or to just pay me an hour and 15 minutes? Got to get a big picture. He said, then I go to the original, which was the ship. The ship should know what to do with the product to prevent and just, or just take the loss. Okay. Okay. Uh, pay, pay you me. more, more to reject pay. Pay you. Because we should pay you the reimbursement for the shipper and get the flow business. Pay you your hour. That, that's what I thought. I thought it would be easy. But my dispatcher said that the next time this happens, this will piss me off. Because one, I don't know who cleaned the trailer. I don't know when the trailer got there. When they say they got loaded, it got loaded. When I was, when it was supposed to be in there on a certain day, I didn't get there till the day after. I, all I am is the driver. So when I sit there over two hours, because my detention says I sit there two hours. Anything after two hours, I get paid for. <laughs> so... What got me was that if they don't sign the detention part of the piece of paper, then I don't get paid. I don't. I don't that don't sit well with me, y'all. That don't sit. That don't sit with me. Somebody said there are logistics manager and it's cheaper to reject the truck. I'm a manager. It's cheaper to reject the truck. Why you say that? Why you say that, uh, my Marisha? Why you say that? Like, why is it cheaper if they took the product? I mean, why do you say it would be cheaper? I mean, make me understand. I don't know this logistic part of it. I, I, I'm trying to understand. Oh. Is it the company should, uh, should pay you because it, they cut your check? That's what I said. Um, what you say? If the customer, if the customer had rejected it, uh, when they saw water, it would be up to the shipper to make it right, which I understand that. Which I understand that. I do. Because they said because they took the product. Yeah, and see, my thing is that, like I say, they took it. They took it two hours after, so therefore, then that third hour. Okay. Let, let me let me not even argue. Let me ask this question: What's supposed to happen? How am I going to get paid my hour and 15 minutes over being there if the customer refuses to to sign the detention? Okay, answer that for me. If the, it would say, would you have had to take take it back to if the company? Would, yeah, I would have had to take it back. I would have had to drive it straight back there. Um, what would have... I said from your company. But my company already said if they don't sign the detention, then the customer is not responsible for it. I I can't I can't read the text because I I, I was going back and forth, you know. Uh, <laughs> I was going back and forth. When the so, okay, so they're saying that if if they didn't pay if they didn't sign that they was gonna pay retention, then she's not gonna get paid basically. The, and her 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 bar, I mean her company is saying Swing's company is saying that is the customer should pay for it. Okay, so if my boss won't pay me my hour and 15 minutes, and the customer won't pay my hour and 15 minutes, and the shipper won't pay my hour and 15 minutes, am I supposed to be happy about that and, and settle for that? Now, would you rather lose a whole driver behind an hour and 15 minutes? What'd you say? So that's why, receive, why the receiver signed the paper for you in and out time somebody was saying that the shipper somebody was saying that's why you never get the paperwork signed that's why you don't get the paperwork signed in advance i get the paperwork signed i just i just don't get they won't sign the detention part of it they signed the paperwork saying that they received the product and that they're responsible and that, that they uh hold all the product and they'll sign the bol saying that that's the product that i brought but they won't sign the detention part. Right. This is why I say you work for the company, not the customer. Right. So you, as you say, as a legit, I would pay my driver. Good drivers are hard to find. Exactly. So my, so 
my my reach, I hope I'm saying your name right. So if the if the company won't pay me my hour and fifteen minutes, the customer won't pay me my hour and fifteen minutes, and you do you think me as a driver that got good damn good credentials and you know lot, my record is clean? You think you, is it logical for them to lose me as a driver behind an hour and fifteen minutes? <laughs> Because they don't want to have that shit. Because I'm, I'm gonna make sure my job is done. <laughs> I make sure my job is done. That that's how serious I take my shit. I'm there on time. I'm creased down when I get to y'all. See me on my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, and it and it's not so much. It was just the principle of it. I, I don't really bitch about an hour and 15 minutes because the Lord blessed me in other ways. You know, I give my hour and 15 minutes other ways. However, it was just the principle of it. Don't come at me talking about if you were, you ain't going to get paid if you don't have them signed. And I know I'm not the reason that I've been there three hours. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You finna. Yeah. You finna lose a good, good ass driver. I can't wait to. Oh, man. You just wait. Um. <laughs> Ah, oh, they need to think they have to pay you, right? Good work is a hard to come by. Um, yeah, because it made me mad. Uh, it made me mad because I said, wait a minute. If I'm not getting paid my hour and 15, yeah, then my boss need to call me. I need him to tell me he's not going to pay me. Because if he'd have called me and told me he wasn't paying me, yesterday would have been my last day. And I put that on everything I love. <laughs> that don't mean somebody, behind, somebody said behind somebody. an hour and 15 minutes. If he'd have called me yesterday and told me, yeah, oh, yeah, he wasn't gonna pay me. Yeah, everybody's pointing fingers. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the thing is, my thing is, look, as, even as a customer, my thing is, I don't want to hear the pointing fingers, mm-hmm. I just want to hear a resolution. Yeah, and because it doesn't pay at the end of the day to keep going back and forth. I just need to find out who's gonna get paid and. When am I going to get paid? I don't need to find out who did what, when and where. We already established all that. So, yeah, that's the whole thing. And you know, it was the, the thing is, it was just the principle. Because mm. sometimes, you know what? And then let me tell you how it, it's, it's, just ba- it's just basic to me. Because sometimes I'll be over 15 minutes. And I won't even claim them 15 minutes. You see what I'm saying? And that's on the majority of my lows. If, if, if I... You know, be there over, say I'll be there three hours and 15, I mean, two hours and 15 minutes. I won't even claim them 15 minutes. I'm not greedy like that. I don't care, you know. But when I stress it and I notice it and I stress it and then you tell me you're not going to pay me because they didn't sign the dis- I wanted him to call me. I wanted that man to, if that man would have called me yesterday with that book, that book, I promise you that would have been my last day. It took her to calm me down. It took her. I said, baby, it was just the principle of it. That's yeah. all I say. It was just the principle. Because I ain't finna argue behind no hour. Now, if it had been four, five hours, then yeah, you know, we're going to have a problem. But it was just the principle of that hour and 15 minutes. But you know what? Uh, last <laughs> of the month, when she said, where's the loyalty? You as a good worker. That's the thing is a lot of companies don't look at they don't yeah. look at that until they actually lose you. And yeah. they get somebody that come in that's sorry as hell and they feel it. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Because now you got somebody sorry who don't care how they're going to do their job, how they yeah. conduct and represent you as a company. But as soon as Ooh. they lose somebody like her, then they, once they feel it, then they, uh, you know. Mm, I'm telling you, they, they, I, uh, if that man would have called me, because I said, I said, no, you need to have him call me. Because I could have called him myself. But see, look here, let me tell y'all something. If I, I, if I don't call you when you ask me for my money, I shouldn't have to call you to get it back. Mm. That's the thing. Anytime somebody borrows some money from you, you didn't have to call them to give it to you. Right. You shouldn't have to call them to get it back. You, they, yeah. they shouldn't have to call you to get it back. Right. You know, Um. that's why I don't loan money. I, that's why I don't loan money. But... Ooh, or just man. anything, period. If you know, I'm real selfish with just <laughs> stuff like if somebody cannot borrow that book because you asked me for the book, but then I got to ask for my book back. Yeah. All I know is that that man would have talked to me. And the, the way day. that they know that you operate. <laughs> yeah. I would have been like, you know what? I know that she works over and she don't never claim it. 
And so, mm-hmm. you know what? I'm not going to... You won't get paid. Don't worry yeah. about it. I got you. You're going to get paid. Yeah. It's not like I'm paying you for something that you didn't do. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And knowing how you operate as an employee, I'd be like, Gosh. I mean, y'all, they even skip, they even they even stitch me on on mileage. You know, when you pull up the Google Miles or, or the Apple Mile, mileage, you're going from from Beaumont to El Paso, and they even they stiff you on that. They they stiff you on that, and I don't even complain about that. But the when you go, oh man! I think it was just the, like you said, the principle of how everything just went down yesterday. Oh man, huh? I said I think it's the principle and just how everything. It's just the principle, yeah, yeah. Will you be able to discuss it with him when you go? I mean, he already. I mean, she already say that they were gonna pay me, and be, look, trust and believe. And she I got it in black my, and white. So. I, yeah, <laughs> I I keep up with my pay stubs and my text messages, but um. Yeah. So, I mean, if you really wanted it to be, if you really were, if you want to, okay, y'all want to start going by, go by protocol, wait, wait, hold on, y'all, 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 y'all want to start going by protocol, y'all. then I'm going to go ahead on and put in uh, wait, wait, my wait, 15 minutes. Hold on, hold on, let me show y'all. Let's see y'all. Uh-oh. All right, Miss J with pay swing and take it up with the shipper and receiver. Right. You, you, you handle that. You handle that well, however y'all handle that behind closed doors and y'all do that then. I just need to know when I get paid, so you right. You right. See so y'all, I write all my stuff down. Where I go, the mileage, how much I get paid. I, I write all that shit down. The trailer I done picked up. Oh, I forgot to write that number down. <laughs> Wait a minute. I wrote 54110. And I got a dividend in it up. But anyway, yeah. I write all the stuff down. I write everything down. And I keep every every you last thing. She'd be like, hold on a second. <laughs> she she'd be in there at the table in the dining room. She'd be like, okay, I'll, I'm be I'm being in a minute, babe. I gotta add some stuff. Yeah, wait a minute, hold on. Let's check out something else. She gets a calculator out. Let's she'd be like, hold on. She be doing like this. Wait. <laughs> you know how Medea do with the calculator? Wait. So she keeps track of it all. Let me show you how I am. Y'all see this? These are all the loans I did last year. This is all last year. This is just this year. What is that? Is that the calculator? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. See? That's just this year. Oh, she she keeps yeah, Sharon. She keeps every when I say she keeps stuff intact and she yeah. has order. Yeah. Look here, the IRS ain't finna come find me. Mm-mm. Yeah. She she keeps up with all. Why you didn't put like a rubber band or something? Like this? We have some in the office. Cause after after uh, December, I'm throwing that away. After yeah. December, uh-huh. I know. And then I keep this. I know December's a while back. So why don't you just put a rubber band on? Because I got a place for that. Anywho. Yeah. So. Yeah. my baby y'all it's my baby and she be in there at the table before she come to when she comes in from her work week she sits down at the table make sure she got everything in order got the calculator out and she's in there for probably good like 30 40 minutes and, and my mileage never match up with my pay stuff and i don't complain about that because i know the law won't give it back to me another way but when i see it and i speak on it oh yeah it's one thing to see it and speak on it. Yeah. Then you just don't say nothing, but it, yeah. Woo! You're supposed to, I'll keep them. I got some, baby, I got some stuff in boxes. <laughs> Believe me. I tell you, if I need to get to it, I know where to go. And I know where to go to find it. Excuse me. Woo! But yeah. But the, the, those particular uh, forms that you had, like, uh, how you said those were your loads. Mm-hmm. Those pieces of paper that you have, are they? Uh, that's on, on that's a, a copy. On, that's a copy. Right. Now what I'm saying is they're they're documented. So like if the IRS come, they will go to her, go to your company and pull that because mm-hmm. that's just a copy that you have. Mm-hmm. So they got the the original. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that what I got <laughs> is what they got. Mm-hmm. So and if they say they don't have it, well I got it. 
Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what I do, y'all. And then I write down everything after I go. And how much I got paid for going there. So I did. Did it in my own dog on taxes that so yeah, she Anyway, that man would have called me yesterday. Oh man. The Lord know my heart. He know that's all I can say, he know my heart. And he know exactly what am I what I'm gonna do. My mama even said that. Ah uh, He said if she has a check stub that she needs, she doesn't need those tickets. What you talking about, uh, Scooby? Because somebody was saying that uh, somebody was saying that the IRS would come after you, so make sure you have them. So she was saying if you have the check stubs, so you don't need them. I'm not. A, I'm, you know what I'm saying I'm not an owner operator. I'm a company driver. It's just they doing some shady stuff over there, and then I come in question where I got all my stuff to back me up. <laughs> I say this is what they paid me. I don't know about what they paid other folk. This is what they paid me. So they say you're a good person, but not a push up. No, I'm not. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon. I don't know question you I was coming uh have been Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh why don't you I'm trying! Oh 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 what you like? Oh, bring gas. I'm trying trust me, I am trying. Baby, tell them I'm trying to find me another one. I'm trying. Again, before y'all start making suggestions. They say I'm overqualified. Before y'all start making suggestions, she does tankers. She doesn't do box trucks because everybody keeps wanting to say <laughs> Walmart, UPS, this, that. You have to, you have to. Yeah, I just can't. Do she just, just, just don't go driving anybody's truck. She does tankers. <laughs> I, just, so. <laughs> I don't like drive boxes. I like drive vans. I promise I don't. I don't. I don't like drive vans. I like tankers you know but they say i'm overqualified how the hell i got a i got twit card i got my twit card i got my um hazmat i got my tankers um i got my gun license uh, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just all around I, I got everything that it is that i need so i don't understand and i don't have no no um ticket. I ain't got no accident. All in timing. You know? Huh? I think it's just a matter of timing. That's all. I'm just saying. And the only thing I can come up with is either the color of my skin or because I'm a female. I I just I don't know. Now, or I, I speak up for myself. You just ain't finna talk to me crazy. You just ain't finna make me just cause your ass is a manager or CEO or COE. Or uh, them, them people, look here, you regular, just like you, you just like me. So I'm going to talk to you like me. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, nah, we regular people around here. You got a job, I need a job, and we, we, we work together to get the job done. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you work for somebody just like I do. So, that'd be it. So, ain't nobody finna be talking to me crazy. Mm, I don't care who you are. Uh, mm. <laughs> Baby, like, who them people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know them. Who were anybody yeah, drinking yeah. mic? Yeah, because they was throwing, <laughs> dropping names and stuff. So and so said, and, and you, so and so. I'm like, who them damn people? You know how people do that <laughs> because they're so um, yeah, politically um, corporate, correct. Corporate like, you know how they'll say, well, you know, well, well, Steve Michaels, you know, he would never, uh, you, Steve Michaels, you know, and Steve Michaels is the CEO. Uh -huh. Well, she I don't, don't know, know who that. Steve Michaels is. She, you know? I know Gary. Say. That's it. <laughs> Is Gary, you know, and so you know, people like to, you know, people just like to have to like to drop names and stuff, and then think that it's gonna make Steve, you, Steve, make, the CEO. I'm yeah. like, who is that? Who the hell make you it move is? Just because you said a name and you supposed to stop <laughs> dropping roll, and she ain't the one for that. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm, I ain't twenty no She'd more. She'd be like, what does that mean to me? <laughs> Oh, so. man. I'm not trying to stop when I was in my 20s and yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am, yes, sir, and, and yes, I, I just got you, and I, mm -mm, I ain't doing that now. 
you know, come on in here and sit down, okay? Yeah, well, what, what can you what can you bring to the to the right, table? Steve don't drive no truck either. <laughs> <laughs> and that be the thing. The ones that had the most to say and ain't never stepped foot in a damn truck before. Oh man. Oh man. Mm-mm. Come on, what can you bring to come? Look, you need you got a job to do. I need a job to do. We gonna work this thing together and get the job done. That's how I look at it. I ain't finna get you know long backstory of my life. You didn't read my damn uh, application. I didn't show you where I worked the last five goddamn years. I ain't got to sit here and have a whole conversation about who my mom is, where my daddy from, how many siblings I got. I'm not finna tell you my damn life story. I work with people now. Don't even know I'm married. <laughs> they don't even you know. Married? I'm just kidding. You don't know either. <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> oh man, I just I don't mix she personal keep people life. Out of her business. I don't miss my personal life with my job life, and I don't miss my job life with my my social life. I you, I keep them separate, but I'm the same person each one of them. Oh, man. What you say? I don't think it's about your gender or color. It's just got to be the right job at the right time. You right. You right. You right. So, you right. Exactly. So, I understand. I am not complaining. I wish I could find a home job where I can just work from home, but I ain't there yet. I don't, I'm not built like that. I'm built for outside and, you know, driving and things. <laughs> <laughs> are, I'm, not, I'm not I'm not built for face to face customers you know I used to work in customer service but I'm not I'm over the phone mm. I don't do the face to face because yeah. I can't play with you I can't play with you like that <laughs> your face don't show it out <laughs> yeah well baby got a problem with you and Lord it's been written all over yeah. her face <laughs> yeah so, so but when I when yeah as soon as I can get another one my ass is gone how many of y'all by show hands, how many of y'all are like in management positions, like supervisor, manager, yeah. you know, bosses, uh, bosses, bosses, anybody, anybody in here that's a supervisor, manager, like in corporate, you know, just high up. I just, I have a question. <laughs> uh, DC, DC. Uh, finest, uh, what's that, fitness fair? I'm a supervisor for home. Okay. Okay, so somebody say me. My 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 question is because like when baby was saying, you know, just how they was, and, and I've seen it happen time and time again where people allow title is just the title. You know what I'm saying? I know why, while you're at work and see a lot of people, you know, let that title go to their heads, mm -hmm. and I've seen it happen time and time again. So I'm just trying to figure out do how do. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Ask it nicely. No, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like, like she's saying, like, let me use somebody. Let me use somebody. Like, um, I'm gonna use DC. No, no, no. I'm, no, I'm gonna DC. use uh, Reggie. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, uh, hold on. I want, I want to use somebody we don't know. We want to use somebody we don't know, but we don't want to take it per room. I don't want nobody taking it personal. Oh, uh, hey, Shanae, Nay. Um, what'd you say? Um, uh, like, okay. Sassy Red. Sassy, Sassy Red, Red says she's a nurse manager. Okay. Okay, Sassy Red. So you're a nurse manager, and everybody you know you're a nurse manager, and so you have a little leeway or uh, uh, say-so over people, okay? Say I work with, for you, and you got a little say-so over me. Well, Sassy Red, you're a nurse manager at work. Right. But Sassy Red, when I see you in Kroger, you just Sassy Red. Right. I don't know you as Sassy Red as the nurse manager. Right. You know, that's that's what we're trying to say when people say titles go to their head. See, because when you go in Kroger's, you ain't you ain't uh, you nurse ain't manager. Man you, ain't you ain't nurse, nurse manager. manager no more. You just a person in you, Kroger's. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And I've seen people do that to where they think they all that and they that see, that's nine to five. You that served that nurse and manager nine to five. Once you yeah. do them premises, you, you no longer red. manager. You just sassy red. 
But a lot of people allow that stuff to go to their heads right. and still have that. Wrong. See you. The company right, right. that you were I signed your check. Motherfucker, you in the we, store. We are not on clock. <laughs> we are not on clock. Oh, you in the store with me. I will drop you at where you stand. <laughs> <laughs> and then with you at work tomorrow. <laughs> like nothing ever happened. <laughs> like, How you doing? Hey, what's up, boss? <laughs> She be mad as hell trying to pick out a way to fire my ass from kicking his ass last night. <laughs> no, but you know what I'm saying. I've seen people. I've seen people do that. You know what I mean? And I'm yeah. like, and me, Bob, baby was talking the other day, and I said, it's just a title. Why do people just as fast as you got that title, you can lose that title? And I can't so make sure that you never. I'm gonna leave here looking for one. Make sure you just never, you know, mistreat <laughs> people just because you're in a position of power. Yeah. Don't mistreat people and talk to people any kind of way because just as fast as you got it, you can lose. You can be right in this position with me, looking at me side yeah. by side. Look yeah. at me, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I just, I just always try to remind people. I never wanted that type of position because a lot of people now they're so it's it's, it's so political, you know, mm -hmm. in that arena. It's just it's, it's all about politics. You know who talking about who and who know who and and, and you letting this person go because you really don't like that person right. but that person they do their job right but because you don't like them well the job is not based off of likes right. it's based off of performance do I, yeah do i do my job yeah performance. and so i just think that a lot of people allow it to go to their head even supervisors manager you don't like me <laughs> you don't pay me to like you yeah you pay me to do a job right. i have too many friends as it is I'm trying to get rid of something. You want one? <laughs> what you say? You're not on that level on or off the clock, so they think. <laughs> but see, that's what I'm Shit. saying. And then again, off the clock, you're yeah. just Joe. Right. You're just, you just yeah. Joe at Kroger. You say, I think many times people get hung on titles and forget the concept of, of teamwork. teamwork. Yeah. I brought that up too. Remember I yeah. told you about the manager that I had and then the other manager said, well, we made our numbers. We. <laughs> no, we didn't make our numbers. We made our numbers. You didn't make our numbers. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's all about being a team player. Yeah. And I think that management has gotten lost out there, even supervisors, to where they don't step in to help. They think they're too good to help. Yeah. And, and you can't take the credit and say, well, we did it. No, we didn't. Yeah. We did. Yeah. You didn't do anything. And then don't want to pay us for the job that we do. Oh, yeah. man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, I'm Woo! glad I ain't got to deal with that crap no more. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's just uh, say that's why off the clock I see them. Walmart is going to be a mis misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> they have lost touch with people. Teamwork is yeah. very important. Yeah. It is. It is. That's what I liked about my, my, my boss, man. My boss... I mean, he just understood where you was. If you had a doctor's appointment, he ain't questioning if you went to the doctor. He regular. He know he got to go to the doctor, you know? Oh, man. Oh, man. But these motherfuckers just getting this off of now, boy. You be like, what the hell? And, I, and, and I, then with your job, I was telling baby, you would think one of the dispatchers or management, you know, somebody management would say, you know what? I've never really... You know, a problem. Road with them. Let me, let me. Can I ride with you? Like, okay, just to go. Uh, would you say how you 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 go get, go low? Go low. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I ride with you to go low? Because it's one of those that where you coming right back. You mm -hmm. know, you go in and you be back the same day. Mm -hmm. I want to ride with you. I just want to see you know the ins and outs. Mm -hmm. So that way you can say, well, you know what? Now I get it. Okay. See, we never considered traffic. Yeah. And her travel time, they just assume all the low that time. They're, they're, they don't consider traffic. They don't consider that the baby needs time. to eat. They don't yeah, consider they don't that even put me in eating. The low time, they just think that <laughs> she just I gotta wash my ass. And she just drives, and she <laughs> she drives for ten hours straight, and she just go and then you know whatever. You know, she's like, well, if it's loading for two hours or three hours, that's three hours out of my. My my, you know my day, yeah. and so mind you, you can't be doing nothing else but sitting there watching the damn trailer unload. When you unload, you can't be on your phone, you can't be dibby dabbling, you can't be eating. You got to sit there next to the damn pump and in case Makes something pops off. Yeah, 
So no, I can't take my lunch and eat in it within them three hours. We say but no, people I, don't understand. I don't that. want you riding with me. Well, you know what? I I, I get that. Um, <laughs> but I'm just saying, if you wanted to understand, you know, like some people. Have Right. And don't know the the ins and outs. Right, right. That's what yeah. I guess because yeah. and then once they do ride, they'll be like, you know what? Yes, I yeah. never thought of that. Okay, yeah. we need to, we need to we need to change some things around because I never thought of this stuff until I rode with you. They need to do the job to see what it what it is. Yeah. You know what I say that all the time, Z Hill. Thank you. Yeah. Right. I say that all the time. You can't manage me if you never done my job. Right. Right. You can't tell me I'm doing. You wouldn't even be able to tell me if I'm doing my job to my best of my ability because you, you never done, done it. <laughs> uh, you just say that's true. I did over two dollars over twenty. Yeah, man. They don't take in consideration. You gotta eat. You gotta wash your ass. Yeah, you, 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 you traffic. You traffic. You got to unwind. You got to. You got to brace yourself to deal with weather. You know, they don't look at none of that shit. Oh, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. And then you wonder why I spoil mm, my baby when she come yeah. home and they do my baby when she like like, what you eating? I'm eating cereal because that's all the time I had time to do is eat some cereal. Yeah. Shoot, that's the reason why I do my baby the way I do my baby. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. I got you. You got me. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. why I act a fool over her. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Do my baby like that? Woo! So, Southern Bell is bad yeah, about bad. that. What's Southern Bell? What's that? Michelle Stanley. What's Southern Bell? Is I don't it, know what is, that is. Is that a, a phone company? A uh, company need to hire from within, then they'll understand it better. better. Yeah. I think if it goes through, I, 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 and if it don't um, quote me, but I think doesn't. UPS, don't they do it? They work, you have to come in as a driver and then you work your way up into management. That way they know. Yeah. They don't do it like that no more. They just hire them right off the damn internet. <laughs> <laughs> telephone right company. Yeah, yeah telephone that's what I thought. Okay, okay, telephone company. Yeah. What's, What's going, going on, Shantae Monica? <laughs> oh, man. But I'm, I'm good, y'all. I'm going to continue to do what I do. It's just, it, woo. Man, all I know is the Lord know my heart. He know my heart. I pray. I pray when I get up. I pray when I drive, and I, I pray when I get home. He know my heart. And I was upset that day behind that 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 load that load itself. Y'all have to stay tuned <laughs> and make sure that y'all go to YouTube and yeah. and and because I'm 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 we vlog today's activities yeah and uh, I will be posting that tomorrow but you're only gonna find it on the YouTube page only yeah. so that's conversations with Swing and Jack so you make me to make sure thank you last of the bunch that you log in and see it tomorrow yeah thank you last of the bunch it, it really is but I love my job I love what I do. You know, and, and I just wish they, they get it together. I, I do. What's up, Smitty? They, they know the ones that that like to cut corners. But they know the ones that like to do their job to the best of their ability, mm -hmm. such as myself. Mm -hmm. You know, they know me. I let them know me. You know, they know how I operate. I have a real serious question. Y'all do marriage counseling, like give other people counseling? Not really. You know, we do it on here. You know, we do it on here. So if you have a question, just understand there's 213 people looking at your question. So feel free to ask your question. We will answer you. <laughs> we will, I promise we will answer you right here and now. We appreciate all the amazing truck drivers out here. Yeah. How you doing this, Smitty? How you doing? What's up, Smitty? Uh, <laughs> thank you, TVR 1976. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Y'all, um, do we have any cases we need to solve right now? Do we do we have any cases we need to solve? <laughs> do we have any cases? <laughs> any misunderstandings that we need to get down to the bottom? Yeah. Speak now or forever hold your peace. There's a lot of uh, young men left our plan because not getting the position they wanted. And they can get it. Waiting yeah. for the last flight to come in. Okay. We'll have a good evening. All right. All right. Well, do you work at the airline? I might need to get on the airplane. Aeroplane. 
Anybody got any cases we need to solve? Anybody having any issues that they, they we just... We need to bring up. Y'all just need some bluntness right now. Some bluntness. Talk about. Yeah, y'all need just some just somebody to just, just tell you like it is. School, just, uh, school bus driver here. Okay, school bus driver. I mean, customs, customs officer. Oh, okay. What that mean? They're in customs. You know where they... um. Um, out like of, the TSA uh, stuff. Custom, What's that? What's like, that? Like, 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 like stuff that comes from overseas countries, different yeah, countries and stuff. Oh, she even people that put people in jail if they like. She probably check the you know check people that probably are suspicious and stuff. She like, said, like your CBD, CBP. What's that? What's that? Correctional, basic police. <laughs> border patrol. Oh, border okay, patrol. border patrol. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, what would you do if a coworker is too overbearing? Keep coming in my space, and I try to do my job. Tell them you can't tell them that they're overbearing. Sabrina, you can't just tell them. Your border patrol. Okay, okay. You, you can't just tell them that they're overbearing. Yeah, you can't just tell. Like, I feel, I feel. You're in my I space. I feel like you just you you're in my space. Yeah. And, um, I don't want to. Let's just say tell the supervisor. <laughs> you know, you want to tell the people first. You want to tell yeah, them. Yeah. Try to resolve it first. First. And then once you tell that person that they're overbearing, they're in your space. Then if they continue to do it, then you take it to a supervisor. <laughs> What's your issue, Jante Chantel? <laughs> <laughs> What's your issue? We ain't got, hey, we ain't got on Adidas today. We just got on regular clothes. <laughs> uh, I just say, really, can't yeah, probably have a hip right or just slow. <laughs> you say, okay, I'm going to do that. Yeah, you just tell me in your space. Know. Say, I'm, not trying to, I, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, but I just feel like you're in my space. Is, is there... You know, anyway, whatever it is that you're doing, can you do it, you know, where you're not invading my space? Do y'all respond to questions? What's your question, Nicole? Yeah. Put my arm out. This is my space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we don't have no questions tonight, TVL 1976. Mm -hmm. I didn't see your question. I didn't see it. We didn't see it. We just said you had a problem with us too. That's all we saw. What you say? TikTok might be well. Uh, TikTok might, might be, be holding, filtering, yeah, filtering, filtering words. Questions, so yeah. We can't see. Depending it. on what you say. What you say, Auntie Chan? What you say, Auntie Chan? What you say? She thought she's a rapper. Hey, yeah. what is this? I'm hearing y'all wearing white to my wedding. Who told you we was wearing white? I'm sorry to tell you, but we ain't wearing white. But who told you we was wearing white? It may have been a question about white, but we didn't say we were wearing white. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> it was a question. It was a question yeah. about white. Yeah. Hey. Hey. We had. You can tell me where we went to? We went to BJ's today. We went today. to BJ's today. Yeah. It was lovely. What? You see, y'all not right. coming. It's your Friday. What you, what you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about, Auntie Shante. Call us after, after we get off live. Mm, call us when you get off it's live. Okay, I'm 32 miles. If it's 34, me and married been eight eight years, years but together for 10. 10. All right. Did you find your bow tie swing? No. It didn't match the, the the color I was looking for. It didn't match. So yeah. no. But she's wearing a regular tie. She's wearing a tie, not a bow tie. Yeah. yeah. How do you spice up your marriage to make it more interesting? Oh, 
Well, what we talked about earlier ain't it. Yeah. <laughs> I think you have to start back dating. Yeah, you try start it. Dating try, again. try dating and try just different ways, you know, to do like role play, like like, like 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 you know, massages and 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 ask and, her, ask ask her out on a date, ask her out on a date. You know, would you go out on a date? But you you know, make it like it's the first the first date. Yeah, oh, like it's the first. Reinvent time you ask now. the first date. Yeah. You leave notes for each other. I'm telling you, all that stuff. By the time you see each other, it just enhances the where baby be freaking out sometimes. She'd be like. <laughs> we'll be staring at each other. So. Um, would you say, what about employer who takes advantage of using their FM, LA, and Kyle's out every other weekend? Oh, saturate, all you can do is address it. You know, and address it with you and, and other uh, employees or, or and high if, up. And, and if it's, it's becoming a pattern, yeah. like you said, they call out every other weekend. It's, it's, it's a pattern now. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a problem. <laughs> so it's, 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 uh, I don't know if you're in bring HR. Bring it to management. Yeah. Yeah. Bring but it, then I'll say management. that we have to, then you discuss it with them and let them know it's, it's being looked at and this yeah. is, this is becoming a pattern and it won't be tolerated because you're abusing the system and then let them know then hey the next time it's going to be it ain't going to be me you're talking to it's going to be HR yeah yeah <laughs> we do role play and all that well the only thing I can say is somebody's getting bored <laughs> somebody's getting bored I'm sorry and it's going to be a problem oh lord so again you know relationship is not about it's not all about sex you you got to find some type of way to keep you you both entertained, and it ain't all about sex. And if it's all about sex, then you ain't got much of a relationship after that. Right. Oil, oil. Hey, career focus. How you been? All I gotta say is what. <laughs> What? Wow. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm if you're doing way. all that extra, that means somebody didn't got bored. Somebody needs somebody needs to sit down and have a discussion. And that's on that's being for real. And we need to discuss some things, you know, are we where we we been or we where we wanna be or are we moving toward where we trying to go or you still in this thing with me, you know, you need to have them type of questions and don't back down and be acting like no damn child and scared to open your mouth, you know, don't do that. Open your mouth and, and talk. Shit. Say how you feel. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, career focus. <laughs> <sighs> My best friend's sister works for me and she tried to turn us against each other. I said, try. Well, Reggie, all I can do is you talk to your sister. 10 years is a long time for, for us, our age, but I agree. 10 years, longevity don't make a difference. When you love somebody, you love them. Mm-hmm. Longevity don't make a thing. 10 years is saying congratulations, you've lasted as long as you have, mm-hmm. but longevity does not make a break. Because I've seen some people who they've been in a relationship for 21 years as opposed to somebody who's been in a relationship for five. And the people been in five, mm-hmm. or you would think the 21 would be doing great because they've been together for so long, but they have the most problems and the people that, that have been together for five. So I say, uh, can you be in a successful relationship and still be close to your ex or no history deep as well? Can you be in a successful relationship? If your relationship is successful, your ex shouldn't be a factor. If you're in a successful relationship, your ex should not be a factor. We're together off and on over 20. Mm -hmm. But what's causing the on and off? That's the thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> What'd you say? Spend a week, like spend a week apart and even out all over you when you return, then the love don't live there no more. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage oh, like, is a job. like a job. You keep, keep work- working at it. It is. People just yeah. think that you just get, you get in a relationship and then once you get together, everything... There's no work. The same work that you put into when you were dating, 
is the same work you still need to put into it after y'all you get after together. you get married yeah. you commit yeah all i know is what you the thing is what you need to do is you need to date you need to continue dating being together like we date we we we're together we're committed we're married we but we date each other. We date each other. We. I mean, if she actually sweet asked nothing. me, ask me on a date. Yeah, you know, no, yeah. no, damn well, we just going up the street. Would you? Mind, <laughs> would you mind accompanying? Would you mind accompanying me to the post office? To, <laughs> to the post office. I would love it. No, but but, but, but like you like ride. Saturdays we do ice cream date. Yeah. You know, like she'll she'll say let's 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 just go on an ice cream date and we go and we yeah. just we go get ice cream and then we just sit in the car. And we just talk, <laughs> and you know we just we just we just be sitting there just looking and be like, so, you know we just we just talk. Yeah, that's you know? it. I mean you. you I just... mean she washes the vehicle up before we go on the day. You know she washes it up and and I'm in here making up my face and you know and all that yeah. stuff. So yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when she's smiling, I know I didn't did it. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I didn't did my deed for the day. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. We'll just try this shit again tomorrow. When you see my mom, my mom be like, hey, now. <laughs> well, all right, now. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, you just got to. <laughs> You got to the same thing that you did. I know people, they hear that and it's a cliche, but it's true. The same yeah. thing that you did to, to get them, them it's the that's same thing you got to do to keep them. You can't stop. Mm-hmm. Even don't get, the thing is, is when you get complacent, mm-hmm. when you get complacent, that's when it gets boring. Mm-hmm. You don't want to get complacent. And then you keep doing the same stuff over and over again because you got a whole, you know, whole routine. Whole routine so every time yeah. y'all go on date night, all y'all do is keep going to the movies <laughs> instead of opening up doing the indoor picnic. Yeah. You know, um, you give each other a massage. Yeah. Uh, you can even do create little coupon things and have them fill in the blank, the date and the time of, you know, like I'm gonna give you a massage tonight, you know, whatever, or let them, you know, give you a bubble bath or bring your bath with some wine or, you know, like when baby comes home from on the road, when she comes in, you like she, you know, she always tell everybody when she come in, when she come in this door right here, cause there's a door right here, right mm-hmm. here, right here, right here, <laughs> this is the garage. Yeah. And when she comes in, she steps right here. She gets out of her I clothes. Everything. You don't want to bring she all that out stuff in your clothes. House. And I put them in the washing machine. She gets straight in the shower. When she's in the shower, I lay out a towel on the bed and I get the oil out. Ooh, can't and wait. Stuff. And when she gets out, then I let her lay across the bed and I rub her. I rub her shoulders. I rub. I massage her hands. Ooh, you know how you massage your man, hands like I this. I can't wait. And I massage her feet. Wait right a you know? And when look, y'all, when she go down this, this arm right here, when when with some oil and go down that arm right there, your finger do all that there. <laughs> this should be feeling good. Oh, you should. This right here, this part of your arm, when they be massaged, that should feel good. Because I'm a driver. Yeah. And I'm still hard. holding on. So. so even just her hands yeah. and her feet, you know, I just I just <laughs> massage. I get, I get all this right here. You know, yeah. All right here. Yeah. So. That's what I'm talking about. Can you massage my mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> She had one yesterday. Chance for one tonight, too. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! We gotta go, y'all. I got a date. <laughs> out here we'll be on tomorrow we're not sure what time we're gonna be on we don't even know what we're gonna talk about we we'll probably talk about mary but we ain't got much to talk about mary because we need to go watch power and i only watch it i, I mean i like 50 and i like tabik and all the mother but i watch it because of mary mm-hmm. I, I i'm waiting to see what mary gonna gonna fuck up lorenzo i'm waiting <laughs> she's gonna come for your ass anyway it came. Woo! <laughs> so we'll see y'all tomorrow yeah so I'm so, so glad, glad we, we had this time, time together. together just to have a laugh or sing a song. song. Seems we just get started and before you know it, know it. Sometimes you have to say so long. So long. Tell them bye, bye baby. Bye y'all.